All right, and we are live. Good morning uh, or afternoon, I guess, today. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to Quiet Gentleman Entertainment. We've got a special show today. This is our first episode for a new uh, series that we're kicking off. If you ever followed us on podcasts before, we used to do a series called Seriously Let's Play. Uh, over the years, we've done a, a slew of games. And uh, we were on our second season before we ended up moving to Indianapolis. And now we're up here and we were like, hey, why don't we go ahead and we'll do something with it and we'll make it into a Twitch stream. And things just have lined up so perfectly that today we actually have a special guest. I will not be running the game today. So this is going to be really neat. Uh, but going ahead and starting off uh, with really some quick announcements. We have on Thursday coming up, we have our uh, our Growing Shadows game for the Ninja Crusade by Eloy LaSanta and Third Eye Games. And then next month, uh, at this same time slot, we will be having Brandon A10 and we will be doing Never Going Home. So just tossing those things out there. But before we get there, I mean, let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing today. We have, like I said, a special guest. We have Mr. Mitchell Wallace here with us. And Mitchell is going to be bringing us into his world and his game. Uh, if you've been part of the streaming community or even watching streams in general, I guarantee that you have probably seen Mitchell's face. He has been running games for many people, uh, many different systems, and he is the CCO for Penny for a Tale, as well as does the social media for Helm Gas, which I do... Uh, I do love that, and I have my little special edition book. Yeah, I was, I was a Kickstarter backer, and I, I don't even have that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he also uh, does social media for Black Void Games, and so I can definitely say, without a doubt, it is an absolute honor to have you on the show and to have you as our first GM and guest. Thank you so much. Oh man, and then you named all these amazing people who will come after, like, holy, oh, no pressure. We got this. <laughs> no worries, man. But uh, yeah, so Mitchell Wallace, so we got two guests joining us today. We also have Sean, who is here from uh, the Illuminated page. Yep. And we have Steven, who is here from Growing Shadows. So if you uh, want to check out the shows that they are on, that's on Thursday nights. So there we go. <laughs> awesome sauce all right should i should i take it is this is this my oh, yeah. show now it is I, 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 I roll with it yeah it is all you man <laughs> all right sweet so uh today of course we are playing necrobiotic which you can if you are viewing this it is right to the left of me uh right here in this gorgeous place um a little description but basically, necrobiotic. The, the premise is is that during two thousand two thousand uh, or during their kind of this era, um, the population just starts decreasing. That's and then a were of of birth. So after a while, humanity is just kind of whimpered on, uh, not really knowing its place or what will happen in the future until someone figured out a scientist named uh, Elisabetta. Uh, figured out in Florence, Italy, uh, how to reanimate the dead and program them to perform the basic functions of humanity in order for us to continue on. And so now in the year 2100, uh, we are here behind the great walls of Florence, uh, Italy, with farmlands just outside it, uh, cultivated by the dead, uh, or constructs as we, we call the uh, Earth has kind of reclaimed much of the world just beyond the farms, uh, reclaiming old cities and the like. And Florence is now ruled by the Citadel of Science, uh, which are the main arbiters of the construct, and the ones who develop and craft it. When you die, your body is no longer your own. Uh, it is illegal to tamper with bodies and, and the like, uh, and they are provided to the Citadel uh for retention and then for the creation of constructs the world has just kind of gotten used to it uh the constructs that is seeing um the dead uh perform these tasks such as uh maids in in a very rich mansion uh taking care of uh the little ones um they can pretty much do a lot of the the things that uh we kind of um can imagine these simplistic tasks um 
uh, and and so that's kind of the the world as it stands. Um, we're we're gonna hop in uh, into this this uh, wonderful, beautiful city filled with kind of this historical context. Um, cobblestone streets uh, with a very tall, like um, ancient buildings that are like centuries old that you kind of are, are used to in in Florence, uh, a time like that was old during uh, what we would recognize as our time, uh, old cathedrals and, and places. But the difference is, is that much of these places now stand empty, though still taken care of by the dead. Um, a single construct will, will go down the street with a power washer slowly uh, getting the dirt off the street. Um, a lamp kind of extending from the spinal column and dangling before it, revealing a, a very tight leathered flesh uh, against a skeletal structure as it moves pretty robotically forward, um, ensuring that every uh, part of the street has been uh, taken care of and uh, and maintained. Um, people will will go by, but their heads are down, uh, wearing very utilitarian uh, outfits, very muted colors. Everything about this place is what does it take to survive, and everything uh, beyond that is just extra and not really desired. Um, so music and creativity and the arts are, are kind of... Um, uh, electives in this case um, not something that is, is viewed with much um, admiration during this time there's just never there's never enough time uh, because humanity is just not doing so well um, we will kind of zoom in on you three um, in this case uh, let's what's a nice Italian game or even just a regular game uh, I'm thinking something physical maybe uh, you three are are together in the plaza with a uh, football uh, kind of bouncing between you, um, trying to enjoy some leisurely activity before it gets too dark. There's no electricity, so everything is just done by by candles for the most part. The only one who gets electricity is the Citadel. Everything outside is is kind of just consumed by darkness once nightfall comes. Um, but in this empty street, in an empty plaza. Um, three individuals uh, play a game of soccer. Uh, so let's first uh, see who these people are. What do you look like? What are you doing? Uh, and what are your thoughts after having a long day of work? Uh, well, I'll go ahead and start unless uh, one of my two friends want to here. But I am uh, probably trying to judge how my, the tactics of the others playing with me uh I, I hold back a lot uh playing soccer with them but ever so often i'll rush forward and do something uh that i feel is strategically important and continue the game but other than that my character i would imagine uh brown pants uh a white uh probably well-worn shirt probably and i'm as in uh, very, almost to the point of holes where you think moths might have gotten it. Uh, but other than that, uh, probably some glasses that are both dirty and broken. Uh, blonde hair. Has a look that he's kind of gaunt and maybe in his mid-20s. Uh, but for the most part, seems to be enjoying the game. Uh, the smile doesn't come across necessarily as true. But it is definitely there as if there is something that I'm finding enjoyable in this. Who's next? Uh, I'll go. Uh, so I'm Declan. Uh, while I'm playing, you can definitely tell by my body that I'm not exactly used to sports or any kind of physical labor. I'm more of a thinker, less of a less of a, a fighter. Um, I've got on. Uh, tattered khaki colored pants, uh, a shirt. Um, I've got like safety goggles kind of perched on my forehead, with crack running down one side of it. Uh, darkish hair. Definitely can tell that I don't get a lot of sunlight, that I'm usually in darker locales. Um, 
reserved, uh, very aware of how uncoordinated I am as I'm trying to have fun in this rare moment of freedom. Excellent. All right. Uh, <clears throat> character uh, goes by Stone. He is very quite tall, and is uh, the and he's very broad. Right now, he's goalie, as he mostly just has to stand there. Is he's, he's a little distracted because uh, he was hoping to get a fourth person because he really wanted to play four square. There's only three of us. You can't play four square with three people. He he decides. Uh, he's wearing combat boots. Uh, just kind of like military green pants and a bomber jacket. And on the inside of the bomber jacket, he has like a nice collection of pins, but he keeps them inside because they're just for him. Yeah. Um, so on this given day, uh, these three individuals, uh, I mean, for uh, the technosophist, um, you kind of have a, it's, uh, the days are usually difficult. Um, you're not very, you're not seen with a lot of respect because uh, Florence has done a great job with uh, dumping all of the electronics uh, over the western wall. Uh, and your whole thing is just reaching back to that old era and getting those retro DVDs and, and PlayStation 5s and stuff like that. Uh, things of a long time ago. Uh, and, and figuring out the way they work and, and putting them together. Stuff that the Citadel just believes isn't necessary for our survival and it's definitely something we can't spend time poking around with. Uh, while the architect is seen with a lot of respect, uh, in this kind of world, um, money doesn't really mean much. It's really, do you have uh, the knowledge of science and, and do you have a degree and such? Uh, and so in that case, the, militia, or the uh, architect is, is seen like as the most respected of you three, uh, while the militia definitely had some some respect, but still, like, just the fact that you're usually the one who approaches people once their family member is dead and lets them know that you have to take it off their hands and, and transport it over to the Citadel, not really providing them much time to, to grieve. Um, so, yeah, the, the day in, day out, things are just kind of always... Always the same, always sort of like a, a kind of heavy sense of, of melancholy. Um, as if on, on cue, even pondering it, uh, there's a slight little rainfall, the, the drips of the rain. You can hear it uh, going down the, the storm drains and, and starting to fill through the, the cobble steps as uh, uh, the football kind of bounces across uh, pulling up water and, and probably soaking your, your pants. Um, but you know, at, at least life persists on for for you three, uh, in in some way or another. Um, it's about this time, uh, you, uh, dear militia, see uh, an individual, um, in a chariot. The chariot is pulled by, um, uh, a kind of a oxen construct. Uh, so it's this very large ox with. Uh, with horns sticking out of it, and uh, you can see the steam kind of uh, pouring out through its nostrils. Uh, the eye has been replaced with red lenses, and the back half of this thing has been carved out to make room for uh, kind of a carriage uh, with uh, one set of wheel on the back. Um, kind of uh, glancing out towards you. Uh, it's an individual with a, a very long beard, weathered face, uh, looking very tired. Um, this is someone you know. You've seen them at the militia uh, station um, carrying a, uh, this a yellow envelope uh, and kind of beckoning you over. Uh. <clears throat> hey, Greg, what's up? Hey. Nice, uh, nice, nice car. Is this a new model? Uh, somewhat. It's uh, still bumpy. Really, I think no matter how many times they 
stabilize uh, the carriage. It's, it's really just the, the cobblestones that, that do you in. It just makes it a little uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how that goes. Well, uh, if you ever want me to like take a look under the hood for you, I can... Can I can see if I can help with that? You got better things to do. I'm I'm sure. Uh, hey, that's a it's envelope you have. Is uh, who's it for? It's for you. Oh, hey, um, I love presents. It's not so much a present, I guess, unless you uh, deem overtime as a present. No, you just you got to look at the positives. Got to keep uh, everything in perspective. Uh, if, if, um, I mean, look, you got this cool company car work is constantly giving me presents and, uh, we're no, oh, it's all, it's just like, it's just like the times that you read about in the books that they keep taking away from us. Well, whatever it takes for you to get the job done. And he kind of slips the envelope into your hand. All right. Uh, uh, thanks. Thanks, Greg. I'll see you at the um, I'll see you at the picnic. Yeah, sure. And he kind of like just shuts the, the window and leans back in the, the leather seat, uh, closing his eyes as this oxen pulls the carriage down the street. Great. Great guy. I turn back to the other two. Great, great guy. He. Uh, he's, he's always I mean, you know, he, he acts like he doesn't want to go to the picnic, but he he makes a mean potato salad. It's really the best potato salad. I'm really looking forward to I, it. I I couldn't help but overhear he was talking about that. It's a rather bumpy ride. I I, I think that maybe uh, if you'd be willing to let him know that maybe I'd be willing to work on that for him. Uh, maybe uh, a, a pneumatic suspension or or bladders, steam bladders to help with the suspension of the carriage. I think that would be this that that could revolutionize it. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Maybe you could talk him into that. Oh, yeah, uh, he's yeah, kind of he's, he's kind of yeah. stubborn, like the like the ox that pulls him. You know, it's it's like they're the same. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> do you, do you guys even have the first idea of the complexities that you're talking about? Yes, absolutely. That's that's the best. Uh, well, you know, I mean, it'd be nice to just have something to work on, and why not? I, I I've Anyway, because I'm getting ahead of myself. Well, Edward, you know the Citadel is not going to appreciate any innovations you come up with. They, we believe what we're developing is what we need right now, and we have efforts that should be spent better I'm, developments. I know this is how you feel, but I, I feel like we're trying to do something new or old and bringing it back. I found a book once that had a term for this, and it said, "It said, hipster." I think that's what I'm trying to do here: is bring this idea forward, and you know, help resuscitate it a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that, and the fact is, is that if I can set the trend, it becomes something people want. Yeah. Oh, hey, I have this envelope. I'm going to open it now. <laughs> uh, and it, it it has the stamp of the Citadel of Science upon it, and it says, uh, by order of the Citadel, um, these individuals whose names are Declan Stone and Edward, and it kind of has your full like uh, full name on it, are hereby conscripted uh, to solve the particular case uh, just below these lines. Um, and then kind of uh, after a few um, uh, legal matters uh, that are really just kind of filler, it goes into um, the case. The case being there's an individual who has left the vegetable gardens. The vegetable gardens being the place uh, just west outside of the city. The vegetable gardens are where people go when they've committed a crime. Uh, there's no death penalty and uh, no one goes to jail because that's just a waste of resources. Everyone, if given a severe punishment, goes to the vegetable gardens to uh, cultivate the fields um, and such. Um, the uh, fugitive known as Jennifer is the one that you're after. 
Uh, and there's kind of a sketched picture of her, um, a red haired with uh, blue eyes, uh, very muscular. Um, there's even uh, a little background. Uh, she was um, a grunt in the uh, the Technophant army. Well, okay. guys, oh, two years you, know, you know what this means. I reach into my jacket and I pull out three Sherlock Holmes detective hats. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I know, just... know you guys, no, you guys don't don't like to wear them, but it, yeah, it is. I'm not wearing it. It's on. I I pull it from you and I'll put it on. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's this is good. I, and I put mine on. So conscripted. What did I do so, wrong? How am I getting conscripted into this? I uh, do my job. I follow the rules. This seems like a punishment. Yeah, I mean, after all, uh, perhaps I'm getting the words wrong, but con means without, and script means, well, money. So we're, we're basically being pulled in without money, correct? Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, you no, know, honestly, I, I Citadel Coles. I just, I whenever I get these messages, I don't, I don't actually know what that word means. I just know that it means they want me to do it. Uh, so I, Wait. so let's let's do it. We're are we are we supposed to go to the the vegetable garden now? I think because that's where we start. I don't. I I can't even begin to remember the last time I've left the walls of Florence. Well, it, it's dangerous out there. It, there's animals and and cannibals out there. Yeah, uh, yeah, they, those get pesky. But I, you know, I go out once a week I, to see to see to see my ma. I mean, she doesn't recognize me, and she just toils in the fields. But uh, you know, it's good to see her. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, no, I think going to the going to the fields is the place where we start. We need to know how she got away, where she went. I mean, it's uh, not like we're going to find her in the citadel. What time of the uh, day is it right now? Uh, it's late. It's it's after a, a work day, so around seven. Uh, but it's kind of later in the year, so the sun has already kind of set over the tall buildings of Florence. So we're going to do this in the morning, right? Because I'm not going outside of the walls during the night. I mean, I just, you know, that, that's a that's a deal breaker for me. Yeah, we got to we got to find out, like, you know, how she escaped, where she's gone. And, you know, based on this picture description, uh, you know, if she's free on Friday, maybe wants to like hang out. I don't know. OK, uh, I. How does this work? I mean, do they usually expect you to do this immediately? I, I mean, I mean, yeah, like we could try to like do it in the morning, but there's a good chance that someone's going to come knocking on your door and you're going to open your door. You're going to hope it's going to be your friend, Tom, but it's not your friend, Tom. It's it's the, the big guys in the dark in the dark coats that take you away. No, you know, the guys. I mean, we yeah. never we don't see them. We just hear about them. They're just whispers urban legend but they exist probably mm. yeah it's like you just gotta act on good faith but you hope that the boss doesn't come up and realize you haven't really done anything so and then I, you get to go to the fields have you without your volition i think it's safe if we go now it's probably better for us uh, for our long-term health goals if we go now all right if we must if you need to go home and pack a lunch, I think we have enough time. Yeah, why don't we? Yeah, I would prefer to get some supplies because, yeah, I think that'll be better. Okay, let's be back. Back here, back here. Hour. Uh, yeah. I think I'll just wait here. I think I've got everything I need. Okay, you don't always ready. don't want a sandwich. I'll make you a sandwich. Do you want a sandwich? Oh, sure. No, that'd be great. If you've got the okay. stuff, yes. Are you allergic to peanut butter? I only own peanut no. butter. No. Peanut butter is fine. I just spent most of the rest of my money on this uh, device I've been working on, so it's kind of a, 
I don't have much to eat at that house right now. Oh, okay, I'll bring you a peanut butter sandwich. Thank you. Right. So you guys get your peanut butter sandwiches and stuff like that. Uh, Militia uh, Stone, do you take them to your house for said peanut butter? Or do you already have these sandwiches prepared? We're we're splitting off for and meeting back here in an hour. Yeah, I'm so, gonna go back to my house for supplies. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back I'm to just... my house. Make the I normally eat five peanut butter sandwiches, so I'm gonna make ten because I assume that Edward requires the same amount peanut butter oh, that's Which, fair. no jelly Solid. it's just dry it is a dry sandwich that is fair all right meeting back in this location uh it, it's obviously gotten darker uh, no longer has kind of the spindles of the the sun uh casting its its light upon the the tip tops of the florence buildings um here it's just darkness uh, other than every now and then a construct will move by with a lantern uh, hanging from its head, uh, illuminating as it cleans uh, the streets, picking up trash and the like. Um, you guys know that traveling northwest is where you want to go in order to get to the vegetable gardens. Um, at least because it's government owned, it should, for the most part, be safe, uh, though a lot of uh, care is taken since these people are fugitives. Um, so it's very unfortunate that one got out uh, moving across the, the city streets. Um, it's just nothing. Every now and then you might see a little candlelight uh, twirling about uh, through a window, uh, a family uh, together. Others just sitting by the window, whiskey, staring out into the cold streets. As the rain has now faded, but you kind of have the heat uh, and warmth from the street, creating kind of almost a, a little mist. And there are the gates before you. Uh, they're closed now. Usually they're open during the day, but they at least close them uh, at night. Uh, a few... Uh, militia are by the doors, uh, kind of checking people as they come and go. But no one has come and go for, for quite some time. So right now they're just smoking cigarettes and staring out, uh, having quiet conversation with each other. I, I wave as we approach. Hey, hey Beth. Uh, hey, um, hey, Tom. Uh, hey need to go through. We have to get to the gardens or the fields. What business uh, brings you to the gardens? Uh, I have this uh, piece of paper here. It's got the seal of, of the important people on it. It says that uh, uh, someone has run away and we need to get them. Whose desk did you uh, shit on to get this? See, I've been asking that same question. I like to think that it's it is my my uh, aptitude and my track record and and the merit that I've built up that is that has allowed them to trust me with such an important task. Well, if it makes you happy, um, all right. Uh, and they uh, open the the door and um, motion out towards the fields. Um, I mean, most of the fugitives are held within the domiciles. Um, a few militia you'll see out there. Just show them the paper. Um, good luck, I guess. Great. Do you know the lady uh, that they drew in this picture? What's her name? Let me read it again. Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, looking okay. at the, the woman, they shake their head. Nah, it's... People come and go from this place a lot. There's uh, there's a quite a bit of fugitives uh, and convicts here, unfortunately. Out, out of curiosity, do you, are there many other gates through to the city uh, if somebody wanted to get in from the fields? Uh, sure. I mean, the, the fields in of itself... Um, there's just not enough uh, resources to put a 
uh, any sort of wall like this that surrounds the Florence around it. So it's really just kind of fenced off, but these things can be jumped over. Um, I mean, there's the northern gate, the the two southern gates. Um, so, I mean, there have been breakouts every now and then, but, um, I mean, with a population this small, I mean, and the resources of the Citadel, eventually they get found. Do, uh, do any of the guards at the gates tend to use radios? No, no, uh, hmm. we don't really have that sort of stuff. Um, it's not necessary. Uh, we usually signal each other via flares if need be. Hmm. When right. you run out of flares because you you keep playing with them, you you just yell. That too. Well, hopefully you're not playing with them. Maybe that's the reason why you have this task. I still don't know why I have this task. Oh, wrong yeah. place, wrong time, wrong friends. See, I knew it was a bad idea to play with you guys. <laughs> well, I, I like spending time with you anyway. Uh, I know, but the supervisor is always like, you know, you probably shouldn't leave, you know, the work area. Just stay here and learn. And Yeah. Hey, the Citadel's always watching, so. Yeah. So, uh, let's get out to the farm, the yeah. garden. The sooner we can find out what's going on there, maybe we can get back to the city before something bad happens. Yeah, well, let's okay. let's go. Let's see where she where she was last seen. Yeah, see see you guys later. Are we still on for Thursday? Yeah, maybe. I don't know after this or discovering this task that you've got. Maybe it's best if uh, we just. Do our own stuff for a while. Uh, okay, I mean that's I respect that, sure, but uh, I guess I'll I'll get with you closer to the day and see if see what's up. Yeah, we'll no, we'll 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 uh, we'll, we'll message you. Um, worst case. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. As soon as the door closed, as soon as the door closed, I realized. I was I was gonna say I was doing a whisper to Stone. Maybe you should stop asking everybody about the picnic. Oh, that's not. This isn't about the picnic. We have a poker game that we do twice a month. I don't think you're going to be doing it anymore. Oh, look. I, I just want to say ahead of time if any of this is my fault, I'm very, very, very sorry. I'm sure that it is, and we forgive you. Well, thank you. Either way, I, I have things that I think will be able to help us. Uh, should we uh, figure out where this uh, fugitive was last seen, we can go from there. But we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Uh, I, and I promise I will do my best to be uh, at your disposal, obviously, to uh, figure this out. I'm just hoping that it's not devices like that steam-powered grappling hook that you tried to use. That, that was a brilliant idea, and I still stand by that one. It was we're... almost as good as the mouse-powered Victrola. And besides, my shoulder's healed up by now, so, like, <laughs> it's fine. It sounds fine. No, the, the mouse-powered Victrola was actually quite brilliant. I, I did appreciate that, mainly because it didn't explode. Yes, and it's nice to have music at night. So, uh, on what... Yes. Excellent. Going out through the fields, you have the the kind of well trotted ground extending extending out on either side to uh, well cultivated uh, fields. You smell manure, uh, which unfortunately is mostly cultivated from human feces um, because that is the most abundant resource in this case. Um. There smells are. Like, a, go ahead. Smells like hard work out here. Like it. Very Lo lovely. <laughs> there are a few um, towers, kind of gay, looking out across. You see a searchlight. Um, the little bit of electricity the Citadel has uh, every now and then is, is used for special things like this. Uh, there are constructs uh, out in the fields. They're not doing anything, but they're standing in position. 
uh, just kind of scanning the horizon as they do these uh, well-tailored, leathered flesh peeled back uh, tight and taut against the skeletal figure with empty eyes and uh, sharp, bony fingers, uh, just kind of looking out uh, quiet and still. There are several buildings uh, out in the distance, um, about a mile away from where you're at right now, uh, most likely where the fugitives are kept. So, player question real quick out of character. Mm -hmm. As an architect, I know I can access constructs to program them or to see what the last program was accessed. Mm Mm-hmm. Do do they have the ability to relay information like if they saw something leaving, or is it not quite that? Not that so they um, they usually don't have any vocal emanations, a way okay. to communicate. But you can kind of uh, check through their programming to see like these guards, right? You could check to see if they they pinged on something or motion that they would then try to follow up with. Um, so you could tell if they saw someone. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, we this, need to find somebody or something. Well, uh, Stone, there's going to be militia around where the fugitives are kept, correct? Yeah, that's, yeah. Typically. I, but then my suggestion is we start there and see if they have any more information on Jennifer to see possibly, well, for one, what she did, and that might... Uh, clue us in on where she's going you know if she was stealing something that might give us a clue where she might be headed to now that sounds like probably the good place to start i think you're right and worst comes to worst the guards don't know anything if there's any constructs that they're using for sentinels i can actually i could look at their code and see if they pinged on someone running away or if they gave chase or maybe even what direction they were heading in yeah, I'll, and I'll see if uh, Jennifer had any friends and see if I can talk to them about if if she ta- like told them like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to pop over to the to the Starbucks and the latte will be right back. You know, whatever. Well, and of course, we there, there are all sorts of questions we need to ask. Uh, I mean, I, I'm this full of questions right now as to what we should do. Uh, but of course, these are your people, Stone. Let's talk to them. All right, let's uh, let's go to the door. Let's go to the dormitory. Yeah. So it, you know, it takes about an hour to get over there, uh, walking uh, steadily through the night. Um, the guard place is uh, made between a mix of stone and wood, uh, kind of going up three stories, bars over the windows, uh, and a singular guard militia out front sitting on a chair kind of looks up over at you you have a really polite wave that's that's stone do you do you want to say anything do you yeah, know uh, I, mean, I mean i i think think they're pretty new so i don't i don't know their name just yet oh, oh. uh no I, i'll i'll wing it it'll be fine uh, hey, hey, guy! What uh, what's going on? I was uh, hey uh, why are you here? I well uh, so you heard about this this lady Jennifer who uh, recently escaped, and and it seems like you sent us to find her and. So I'm wondering if you know anything about this this person, and I'll show them the drawing description. Um, we were dispatched by the Citadel. I'm no, not I sure. Didn't. Not sure when she left. I don't even know why she was here to begin with, but. Uh, it was yeah. probably on your watch, and you're new, and I get that. Like we all make mistakes, but. It wasn't on why. Hold on. Let's let's stop the accusations here. Um, look, uh, and, and he's going through like a clipboard of papers. Uh, Jennifer, uh, and he looks over at the um, the sheet that you has, which kind of has like a prison number. 
uh, associated with it. Um, she she's here. She she's back. So I don't know what to tell you. Oh, job done. All right, awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, where yeah, no. where? Um, God, I just had it. Um, floor two cell block. Uh, was it two uh, uh two two a? I I think we need to talk to her because. I Someone in the Citadel like, wants to know where she was. I would like visual, uh, visual, uh, visual um, confirmment. It's <sighs> words sometimes escape me. I'm sorry, uh, but I'd like to see her. All right. So now we come to our first check of the day. Uh, in order to convince this uh, person to let you through, you are going to need to make a hearts check. Uh, the successes needed are one. Um, so yeah. All right. So we That's draw stuff. So, so at the beginning of play, you're drawing six cards. Uh, the only uh, thing you should watch out for, if you pull a king during the first draw, just slip it back into your deck. But hopefully another one did that. And we can look at the, the six that we drew, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You look at it, and uh, you kind of decide what you want to play. Uh, hearts. Uh, well, a suit that matches the action always is a success. Um, otherwise, you're looking at uh, multiples of eight uh, in terms of another success uh, in addition. So uh, if you play a hearts, no matter the numerical value in this case, you're going to get a success. If you're able to get a combination of cards that yield uh, eight or, or, or a 16 or specifically eight, that would be an additional success. Um, normally, you can only play one card unless you are trained in it. Uh, so if something that you were trained in would be helpful in this situation, you can then play two cards. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, it was so hearts and essentially any card between one and eight would be our ace and eight. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, all right. Ace of hearts. Perfect. So that is one success. Uh, what, what do you say as this person's looking at you with, uh, kind of like those eyes that are like, eh. We were conscripted by the Citadel. I don't think you want to have anything happen to you like what's happening to us, correct? That is true. I do not want whatever... Yeah, no. Uh, and he'll unlock the door and be like, uh, feel feel free. Th thank you so kindly. We just have, we, we just have to do what uh, the thing that Declan always says. What is it? Due diligence. No, due diligence. Yeah, that's what I said. It's the same thing. Well, let us sally forth. Well, at least she should be fairly upfront. The cell number was A2. Uh, yeah, second, second floor, uh, A2. Are they kept inside cages? Oh yeah, so you kind of see um, uh, as you're moving down the hallway on either side, there are like these uh, jail cell bars, um, and behind them several bunks and such. So um, you would have about four people in uh, your section, um, and you know every everyone has a toilet and some basic uh, amenities as well as a window. Uh, for the most part, it's just it's kind of like jail. All right. I'm gonna let's head up to the second floor. I don't want to be here much longer. Doesn't sound sound like we'll have to be. Yeah. Hopefully she's here. I don't, I don't know why he would lie to us, but it does seem odd that the Citadel said she escaped and now she's back. Maybe you just at the top of well, two and like wanted to do it in private. I get it. I don't think the Citadel would have called an alarm on someone going into the woods for a bio break. I just, I'm just curious. And uh, I'm, I'm very curious about how much is done by paperwork here. But hey, what can I say? I mean, it's very, very interesting. Uh, <clears throat> well, it's, uh, it's just, it's right this way. <laughs> Yeah, going up uh, as you are, are going, um, the stairwell kind of 
loops around with iron uh, uh, metal stairs, um, finally revealing the second floor. Uh, there are torches on the side. Um, and yeah, you get to the place. You see the, the emblem uh, signifying that this is indeed the, uh, the location you need to be. Right. Uh, I, the cells are open faced, or is it like a open bars, or is it like a door that with a window that we would peek through? Open bars. Open bars. Mm-hmm. How many? And then is it four people in this cell? Yes, correct. All Lightly. sleeping. Or apparently sleeping. <laughs> um. Yeah, like two of them are reading books. The other two seem to be like just sleeping. One in particular is like face down with the covers uh, wrapped over her. Uh, I politely knock on the iron bar. Excuse us, we're looking for Jennifer. Yeah. Saying this, uh, one, uh, the one who's reading on the top bunk looks over, uh, a, a woman with like long brown curly hair, and she shrugs and goes back to reading her book. The others seem to just be ignoring you. Who is oh. that one? Pointing at the one sleeping face down. They don't respond. Oh, okay. Um, hey, hey, everyone. Uh, I'm part of the militia, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, I I just wanted to come here because we we were told to be this person, and we're hoping you guys can cooperate with us and make this e- easier for everybody. Go uh, ahead and uh, so if you want, you can. You need two successes to get them cooperating with you. Okay, would this be considered reasoning? Yeah. Okay, I'm trained in that. And what suit? Uh, so this is still convincing. So flesh hearts. I need two successes. So I have two. All right, let me see those. Okay, awesome, yes. perfect. Um, yeah, uh, one of them, the the same one with like the long brown hair, kind of pokes her head up again and uh, kind of shuts the the book uh, on the the book. The title is like 1984. Um, as she gazes over at you, you're looking for who? Jennifer. One player okay. question: Do I draw two cards since I just used two cards? Nope. You do uh, not uh, draw back up to six until you have an opportunity to rest and take another breath. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jennifer, so, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. It, well, um, it's as... based on... So it's not any of you three. So it's probably going to be that one. Show the picture. Here's the picture. Yeah, I know what Jennifer looks like. Okay, just... I don't know if you guys know names or anything. I don't know how close you are. Share a room with my brother for 16 years. I barely know that guy's name. Yeah, I guess we're not assholes. So, oh. yeah. yeah, my brother kind of is one. So, I, yeah, yeah. Look, we just want information. And all we, I, I, I just want to know who is that under the cover over there? Why well, is Jennifer, of course. Okay, but like, you wake her up. I'm you'll probably staring. do it. You'll probably do it nicer than I will. I've been staring at the blanket because it's she's com- completely covered, like head to toe, covered with the blanket, right? Uh, you can kind of see like this uh red hair poking out. You know, someone like pulling face down, so it's kind of obscured by the bars and everything, and you can kind of see a little bit of tuffle of red hair. Uh, but yeah, kind of face down. So I'm trying to see if I'm noticing that shape breathing. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, sure. That is based on steam, so your mental, uh, which is clubs. Clubs, so Just what do success. I need for that? One success, two successes? Just one. Okay, so. Excellent. Looking uh, down, you you do realize that the rise and fall uh, that you because you can kind of compare it with the other person on the opposite end. You see the rise and fall of her uh, as um, 
she's breathing underneath the covers, but there is no movement from this uh, this person uh, with the red tuffle of hair. I'm gonna kind of nudge Edward and kind of whisper to him. Is like that that blanket's not moving. Oh, there's no one breathing there. Well, we kind of need to uh, an idea of what we're seeing here. Uh, in my inventory, it says I have a thing called a sonic uh, trun- truncheon. Yeah, truncheon. Truncheon. Okay, I know I googled what a truncheon was, and I know it's a club, but what are the sonic properties of it? Uh, so when you uh, swing it around, it emits a kind of uh, a screech uh, that causes disabilitation with someone. So okay. kind of messes them up. <clears throat> okay, go with me on this. If I put it up to the metal bars and I make a loud sound with it that will that would potentially wake everyone up. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll say, well, <clears throat> I told you that if, if I had to wake her up, it wasn't going to be as polite as if you did. So I gave you the opportunity. I gave, I tried to extend um, nice niceties to you, and you guys have really just been unpleasant and mean the whole interaction. So I, I will say that while I am sorry for doing this to you, uh, <laughs> it is. Or fault. Okay. I'll, I'll like put the thing <laughs> up to the bar. <laughs> I, I take one of my uh, peanut butter sandwiches, take like two pieces of white bread and stick them in my ears. That one's yours. Yeah. It, and, uh, uh, I'll just use hands. Yeah, <laughs> it, it screeches and everyone starts like clutching their their ears and there's there's like everything is just turned up to eleven as you you can hear people getting up from their beds and like everyone is super pissed. Like even behind you, the bars you are starting to rattle from these people like trying to kick it in and come after you. Uh and the the three individuals uh in the the cell that you're looking at. One of them jumps off and, and tries to grab the the truncheon that you have. Okay, I when they when they grab for it, I'm just like, nope, it's mine. Yeah, I'm a name on it. The the <laughs> one designated as Jennifer does not move though. So, do we want to have a conversation? Uh, are all the people in the cell female? Mm-hmm. Ladies, do we want to have a conversation about who's really under that blanket? Or do you want do you want do you want Stone here to uh, tap the bars again? Yeah, one of them pulls the the blanket off, and you you see it's just a construct uh, with a red wig uh, on it. How did you get a construct in here? Jennifer did. This is just like my favorite screenplay that I have a copy of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, well, okay, so this definitely uh, gives us some ideas of things. Uh, either she uh, disabled that construct or she knows how to program them. That's what I want to find out. Um, we need to we need, I need to get access to that construct. Well, uh, I think that we need to open this door here. That, do, are all the doors connected or are they keyed? Uh, they're keyed, each one. So we need and to, we need did to... the guard follow us at all? No, he's he's outside, but let's say he would have given you guys uh, the key to oh, this okay. particular cell. I, I... Okay, how do we handle this? Because if we open that door, they're going to all run. Oh, well... All right. uh, I pull out my repeating crossbow, and I'm just like, all right, everybody up against the wall. Yeah, make us, like... <laughs> make, you make one move towards us, and uh, I'm going to perceive it as uh, threatened, uh, a threat, act accordingly. We can all get through this amicably if you just stand up against the wall and let us do what yeah. we need to do, and then we'll leave, and you guys can go back to sleep. So here's mm -hmm. the thing, right? If you can't kill us, you can only hurt us, and we already are here in yeah. prison, so I guess what is the worst you can do? Do. I oh, mean, have you well, ever been is... hurt before? Have you ever truly experienced pain?
I'll hey, tell you. Get to get where I am, inflict on us everything they expect us to to inflict on people, and it's not pleasant. And yeah. you and ladies, he'll inflict pain. Do you really think the Citadel will expend too many resources to make sure that what they fix you with will be of higher quality? Do you want to spend the rest of your days with a limp because they are unwilling to provide such as you premium? Fine, fine. And they, they move over to the other side of the cell and kind of lean against the stone. I, I'm i going to talk to Edward and Stone and be like, okay, so when we go in there, I do not know if Jennifer did program this, she could have booby-trapped it. It could jump up and attack us. When we yes, go in there. I need and- everybody to be ready. Oh, I'm, I'm always ready. And I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll uh... I'll have questions of my own. And I'm going to reach into my satchel and uh-huh. uh, pull out my drone spider and set it on my shoulder. And I'm going to get my air taser out just in case. Excellent. All right. So uh, you guys going inside? Yep. I have a ranged weapon, so I'm going to stay outside. Excellent. Uh, so as you approach this thing, um, luckily, since it's face down, its gears and mechanics are on the back. Uh, it's kind of reminiscent of the uh, the first kind of computers um, and such with the turn dials and clicking and sounds and steam pipes coming out of it. Um, but why don't you go ahead, uh, since you're the architect, you have mm-hmm. uh, necroneurological programming. Um, so... Uh, for every success, you get to ask a question concerning what happened with this thing. So that is gear. Um, so spades. We've got one question. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So going through it, uh, what are you trying to f- figure out? Mm. Want to know... Without without asking the question, or does the spade, can I tell the, the what kind of construct it was? Was it farm? Was it a, a guard? That's I, I guess I want to know that before I ask a more detailed question. I don't know if I can tell yeah. that or not. Yeah, definitely. So that's basic information. Okay. Looking at it and just kind of the basic programming, it was more, it was a sentinel uh, construct. So just like on the fields, it would indicate uh, if someone's moving or trying to escape. Okay. And then... I guess what direction Jennifer went in? That would be the best one with our one question. Yeah. So kind of going through its logs, it did register movement on the northern side of the fields, uh, which was followed by an attack upon its person. Uh, damage to much of its uh, faculties occurred, uh, rendering its uh, functions from the waist down null and void. Um which is kind of why it's in this predicament. And also it's kind of, it's, it's programming has been just kind of on pause uh, since then. Due to the damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys, I, I, I'm going to back out of the cell. Um, Edward, you need to come out with me. Oh, There's oh, yes, not yes, any more information I can get. I'm going to talk to, I'm going to look at Edward and, and Stone and be like. On your way out, bring me that wig. Oh, oh, okay, and I pull the wig off and okay. bring it out with me. Right. So I'm not getting a lot. This was a sentinel. Um, it was attacked from the northern side of the garden. <sighs> she could have came from the north, attacked it, brought it back inside. So I, st- I, I don't know what direction she would have left from then. I, I don't think she would have come in. But so at the same you, time, you I don't think she, yeah, it's kind of like I guess she was bundled up and they uh uh they carried her in. I, I I'm the, I'm sorry. Did y'all bring this in here or did she? And it's not like it's going to get you in any trouble with the truth of the answer. I just want to know. I mean, did did you did it, what what happened? She left it. Uh, oh, so she she put it in her own bed. Mm-hmm. So she left. 
Yeah, so we're back to where we started from. We don't know from here which direction she would have went in. But she would have set it up to where now there is an opportunity to go as to a certain location. Wherever this thing should have been is unguarded. Correct, and there probably would be other sentinels in that area I might be able to triangulate better yes, that, off of that, their pings. Yes, that, I think that is what we must do. I don't think this is where we begin our investigation. I think this is good information, but let's go. Let's let's figure out where this thing was. Stone, and, will, you, will you be upset and, if I put the fear of the Citadel in that guard outside? Because this is sorely lacking in any kind of procedures that this went for so long thinking that Jennifer was in her bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> sorry, I'm slipping into it to a different voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to... Gotta let we gotta let him know. Uh, hold on a sec, guys. I gotta take a closer look at this um, wig, and I want to use my skill, mm -hmm. a trace search. Essentially, what I want to know is if this is real human hair, and then from that, try to guess if this is like if we're the person we're searching for is now probably bald. Yeah, so um, for that specific, go ahead and uh, give me one club. Here you go. Excellent. That's one club. Nice. <laughs> so looking at it, it is indeed uh, real human hair. Um, so most likely, depending on how much hair she had, uh, she's at least has a shorter haircut than what is featured on the picture. And we do, I was gonna say, we have a colored picture, so we know that she is a redhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they like sketched it. Very that good color pencil drawing. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah um, that, so. that was brilliant. Yeah, I, I got my moments. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I just want to say that was brilliant. Did you think I, why did you think I wanted the wig? I thought you were gonna wear it. I thought you were going to punish the guard downstairs and make him wear it. I mean, you know, later if we need a disguise, or if I think that is very funny, I might. <laughs> but, you know, if we need disguises later, I'm just going to hold on to it. Yeah, I'm just going to hold on to it. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. So let's go find our missing... Uh, our place where they would be missing from, yes. Well, yeah, I want to talk to the guard first. I think he... Someone is in on this because a construct missing for this long. Th that's not right. I mean, the Citadel. No, yeah, the Citadel was is very stringent on making sure that the constructs remain functional. If one is disabled, they it should have been reported. There's something lacking and the guard might have more information for us. Uh, maybe, maybe, and I, I do think that perhaps that the, that she was in on it because otherwise, she got a key or something to still be able to get out of her cell. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I if I was, if I knew I was, I don't know. Who would be in on it? Uh, I mean, it's not I something would... we need to pursue now, but it's something that we might need to bring up in our report to the Citadel. Yes. When we, you know, if we find her, if we are, uh, find her, I can get that information out of her. What are the specifics of your, of the task on that paper? Is it just to find her or to find anything else about her disappearance? I mean, <laughs> just find her. You just okay. got to find her. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, missing persons. No, I, I say uh, stick to the task. All right. Excellent. So you guys are coming out down uh, the uh, militia outside is um, reading the paper. Um, it's a quiet night. Kind of looks up at you guys. Fine, find her. No, we didn't. There's a construct up in her place. Oh, okay. You I. Uh, you might want to look into your procedures here because I will be noting this in our report to the Citadel. This is sorely lacking. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's uh let's relax a little bit, okay? Yeah. I was just following what the, the document says. I mean, it's all right. Uh when you, when you guys also, do bed checks, you need to do more than just look in. Also need to check the back of your pants right now because it seems like you pooped them. No, that's just the fields. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna poop them. What? Uh Oh, okay. I I guess I'll have to go deal with this. And he he gets up and. What <laughs> is your just really quick? What is your shift? What what time do you start work? Uh, night shift. Uh, so I started about three hours ago. And is there somebody before you that would have uh checked them all in, or is that your job? Oh uh, no, no, so someone else checked them all in. Okay, who is that person? Um, uh, I. I don't. I don't know. Um, I didn't. You don't know the names of every single person you work with. No, the it, it is kind of rotated and stuff like that. And like you know, I I know I saw the person like it was just Ooh. in the distance, and they were already leaving. So I was coming in. They leave the report, and and that's kind of how it, it functions. Out of curiosity, did they have short red hair? Um, I don't think so. Just make um, sure. yeah, it was it was from a distance, so I, I can't like they, they had short hair, sure. This is yep. gonna be so brought up because I, I understand that you're outside the walls of Florence, but we you need to abide by the rules and regulations that the citadel lays down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't have a don't have like a schedule that's got everybody's name on it. I mean, I don't. I'm sure the, the shift commander does. We can find that when we go back into Florence. Shift I mean, commander, shift commander. Who, who, uh, where's your shift commander? Uh, so the, the main vegetable garden headquarters, uh, is just north of the gate, um, uh, kind of attached to the wall itself. So if you go back on the path and just head north, you'll, you'll be able to see it. Excellent. And also, um, Hmm. Oh, uh, I was going to say, uh, do either one of you, if you do a bed check, I don't know how long this is going to take us, but when you, when the lights come on again and you check the other cells, if you find a body, can is there a way you can please let us know? Like a dead body? Yeah, any other bodies besides just the construct. Yeah, um, I can know. I would reach out. I, I, yeah, please, please reach out. To uh, my colleague here, uh, his home address, and uh, uh, pointing at the uh, uh, Pavenier character Stone. Oh yeah. Oh okay. I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna. Okay. Sure. Uh, well, it's just in case uh, she killed a guard and took the guard's place. Oh yeah, that would be bad. We don't want that. What yeah. Happened. You All never right. know. I mean, no, that's, that's more than bad. That is the the worst crime that literally you can commit in Florence. Yeah, I I don't like. Yeah, I I'll, I'll double check, but I'll I'll make sure to notify you if if something comes up. And I'll have you know uh, if you put if you put. Do you have? Does this guy also have a sonic truncheon? Mm -hmm. You if you put that on the bars and and let that thing go off, they don't like that. Yeah, um, it, it's best to keep them passive. Um, we we definitely don't want an outbreak or a breakout or anything like that. They, they oh jeez, um, I'll I'll yeah. be careful. Yeah, uh, yeah, do do be careful. Um, hey. all and of the, the all of the people in in cell block A, uh, they're uh, probably not happy right now so uh deal go deal with that <laughs> how do you suggest i deal with unhappy prisoners i don't know placate them it's you're the you're here they trained you how to do it do it okay fine uh and they'll go inside and close the door behind them extra action <laughs> sometimes works just saying i do believe we ruined his night but I think it's yes. deservedly so. I think that uh, every person we run into tonight, we're going to ruin their night. So let's just uh, keep going on with our with the you know with the road to ruin here. You know. So the um, the uh, the garden 
commander. Mm-hmm. You said he was at the north end of the garden. Yeah. So, like, if you the direction, like we were, the direction where that body, that construct would have disappeared, was from the correct. Center, right? Yeah. Okay. I look up in the sky, find the North Star, and then uh, start heading that way. Excellent. I don't have my compass with me. <laughs> I mean, you can also just look at the, the walls of Florence and be like, that's east. Okay. Uh, <laughs> follow, <laughs> follow the path. That yeah. was the other one, yeah. Uh, any any sort of indicators. Uh, so after walking some time again, you find the... Um, the headquarters for the vegetable garden. Uh, it looks like a, a giant greenhouse with um, uh, beautiful plants and flowers extending up into the, the glass. Uh, uh, very steamy. And um, yeah, there you see several like guard towers surrounding it. Uh, militia kind of going back and forth. Uh, there's a lot more people in this area. Hmm. Oh, uh, so how do we find them now? Uh, I, I, I have an idea. Okay. You. This yeah. is shift manager. Uh, they're inside. Okay, thanks. Okay. Guys, he's inside. And go knock on, let's go knock on the door. Yeah. Uh, moving forward, uh, it's it's glass doors uh, with with kind of wood and stone. Um, on the other side of it, you see kind of like a, a secretarial uh, circular desk uh, with a man, uh, very young, um, kind of writing uh, on a piece of paper. Uh, there are several doors on either side uh, of this inside area. Uh, three doors on the left, three doors on the right. Uh, and then it looks like uh, behind the circular desk, there's a wall and potentially more uh, offices just behind that one as well. Um, so knocking, uh, the the person um, behind the circular desk is just kind of motioning for you guys to come in. All right. Hey, what's going on? It's a, it's a night shift. Uh, it's, it's going well. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. Cool. Anything out of ordinary cool. going on? Um, no reports coming in as such. Uh, why is is there something? We're uh, on I'm... a we're on a job right now. We just need to speak with uh, uh, the field shift manager. Okay. Um, I mean, could get us like in touch with them. Yeah, I could probably I mean, let me let me check their schedule. I'm just like going through the papers. Uh, yeah, in about uh, an hour, hour and a half. No, yeah, sooner. has an order from the Citadel. Oh, uh, may I see the paper, please? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. It's got a little bit of peanut butter smeared on it, but it's it's still <laughs> official. But why? Why I are we here? Put no, it in the peanut butter. I have it in the same pocket I put my sandwiches in. I don't have enough pockets. That's why, my why fault. Don't, why don't I carry the, the, the uh, paper for you from now on? I... It's a good idea. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to rob your thunder or anything like that, but... Oh, it's fine. I just, I'm very protective of the paper, but trust you. Well, if you're protective of the paper, maybe not placing it in the same pocket you have peanut butter. Uh, might yield better results. It, it makes it smell nicer. Everybody agrees. Uh, how if they have a peanut allergy that still exists? Yeah. Also, I just don't like the smell of it, so that's oh. one person who doesn't like it. And, oh, oh, we're, that... we're getting away from the subject at hand. Mm -hmm. we're, the Citadel sent us, and there are two issues. Okay. Um, so, uh, I will let the shift commander know that you are present, uh, and they will prepare the office meeting room so that you guys can speak. Um, please wait right here. Thank you. Okay. Sit in one of those just slightly too small chairs that they have. For yeah. yeah. They're, they're all slightly too small. Uh, go ahead. 
like no. when you go to the when you go to like a pediatrician and like all the chairs are child height. So you're just kind of like stuck. Basically just squatting. Yeah. Uh, so after a little bit, uh, this person does come back out and leads you guys to the the uh, the main office. Um, sitting behind a very thick mahogany desk um, is a woman with short blonde hair, uh, freckles, and blue eyes, uh, wearing a militia outfit uh, with several medals upon it. Uh, there are books, shelves on by either side, as well as several plants, like vines and stuff, hanging from the ceiling. Um, she gets up and extends her hand to uh, Stone. Hey, Melissa, you got promoted. Yeah, I have been promoted for some time. Uh, yeah, that's, I was wondering why I hadn't seen you around. Yeah, and who are these two individuals? Oh, this is uh, this is Edward. Is and uh, over here, this Declan. I'm sure you've been filled in. Why we're here? Some regards, yes. Okay. Well, Edward is keeper of the page, so he will be the one to show you. Oh, can I yeah, see the uh, papers, please? Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, you as well. Uh, and she pats the papers, moving it out, looking down at it. All right, so a Jennifer. You are seeking a Jennifer. What has your investigation yielded so far? As she's handing the paper back to you. She's not in her cell. All right. Well, that's concerning. Uh, when and, you... uh, she she had a construct in there wearing this. Pull the wig out. Hmm. And, and a, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interject, but according to her room, her roommates, uh, the she brought in the construct and put the wig on it, and then left from there. And your guard downstairs said that she was still present in her room. Hmm. Or right. cell. So. Pardon. Clearly, uh, this Jennifer is working with some of the militia. Um, you find that sometimes here, a uh, sob story will pull on the heartstrings of some individuals uh, who can't quite stomach this sort of work. Very unfortunate. I tried to update a picture that we have of her. You can just see it's like very crudely erased around the hair to make it slightly shorter. <laughs> hmm. Expertly done. It's probably what she looks like now. You do know what the Citadel is going to say about a prisoner damaging a construct, guards lying, and having no clue what's going on. Well, I think the first step is to allow us to respond upon hearing of these unfortunate events. Um, so why don't you let me handle that? And you should handle the task before you, which is to acquire Jennifer. You do you do understand that I am going to have to put it in my report, though. <clears throat> you do understand that having a favor from someone like me could be beneficial to you in the long term. Maybe more so than making myself your enemy. Outside the city wall, so apparently I'm already somebody's enemy. I would like to suggest something, though. I, I'm still, I, I'm, I'm, I know, I kind of tunnel vision on these sort of things, but I would love to know uh, has there been a report of a missing construct? How does that thing get, like, wouldn't that be something? Should have been noticed. It should have. Well, if I were looking for constructs, how many constructs work the north wall area? We have about uh, 30 in total on this side. Um, if one were missing, how big a hole would that make in your perimeter? Very small one. You would have to know the uh, positions of the other constructs as well as their movements. Um, Normally, with every construct available, there's no way to get past without anyone being seen. Uh, but when one is tossed to the side, uh, there is a very small sliver of a path that one might take in order to get out. Um, 
And when I say a very, very small path, I mean very, very small. You would have to, you'd have to be a genius. On the side of all this, we would probably like to know who was working at that barracks two uh, A for the check in. Which check in? When did the person leave? Uh, well, they would have been checked in this evening. Uh, it, they, they would have been basically, they came back to the barracks mm -hmm. and it says that she was there, but she is not there. There's a construct with a wig there. Or, well, there's a construct now, just no wig. Um, and she goes over to the filing and pulls out several pieces uh, and puts some papers on the ground or on the desk. These are the check-ins for everyone coming and going uh, during their shifts. Um, feel free to look through it. Other than that, uh, this will also provide you information regarding the people uh, who are working at certain hours so you can conduct your investigation more thoroughly if you wish. Um, though I still would uh, encourage you to leave this aspect out of your report and instead focus on the recovery of Jennifer. I do I do think getting her back is the most important thing the rest will figure out after. Once uh once we figure out you know how everything I, played I out. I agree. And so uh, let's go find uh, a hole in a construct, or a hole where a construct should have been. Well, it'll, we'll along the north, the north wall, we'll see it. They're pretty evenly spaced it out. We just find the biggest gap, and I'll check out the coding on either construct on either side. Hmm. And I will uh, use my drone to uh, search for traces of their passing. What was the name of the person on shift? We learned. Uh, looking down through the the papers, there is a Gregerson uh, who was supposed to be on that shift. All right, you uh, you look for the construct. You look. You do your thing with your with your bird. It's a uh, spider. Yeah, I, I, it's it's a spider. It's an autonomous arachnid synthetic. Yes. Uh, it, no, an autonomous. Got it. Thank you. He's unfortunately not wrong, Edward. I've you get your good with names. You get your ass in gear. I'll go see if I can find this Gregerson. Gregerson, Gregerson, Gregerson. I just like taking notes too. I hope you don't mind. I write it down in my journal. Yeah. <sighs> well. So you're you're coming with me, Edward? Yes, absolutely. That direction. Me... Uh, do you have any offensive weapons in case something jumps us in well, the night? I, I have uh, my air taser. Okay, great. Because you know me, I don't have anything. I can run. You really should do something about that. I mean, you work for the Citadel. And I mean, we were right. Playing. I work for the Citadel. I live within the walls. I'm not worried about anything happen to, happening to me in the walls. Yeah, we were playing That's soccer just... earlier today, and I just got to say, Colin, oh. what you were doing running is uh, pretty generous. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm. Not, I was not going to go there, but I was going to say the fact of the matter is, is that you know. Murder isn't exactly unheard of in, outside the Citadel walls, but inside of Florence. I mean, I'm sorry. You gotta think about it. Like a construct of a... I mean, they they could make you something. I mean, like maybe a little uh, attack dog thing. I'll have to ask my superiors about that. Especially if I keep being forced out. Mm. Yes. Always smart. Be prepared. <laughs> All right, so uh, going over to the northern area, um, 
you you see like several constructs almost like in zigzag positions uh moving slowly uh across the the fields very carefully uh searching and and looking around hmm. okay well let's get things started uh I will try and have my drone spider start uh, looking for recent tracks, things of that nature. Excellent. Go ahead and make a perception check. Steam. Steam, which will be uh, clubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. two will yield you the results that you want. And you said perception? Yeah. All right. Uh, I am trained in that, so I can use two cards, correct? Mm hmm If I get a higher success, would that actually do anything for me? Uh, yeah, kind of like, uh, you can always use additional stuff with your successes, so, uh, either doing expediency or, uh, gaining another question concerning what you're trying to figure out. Uh, sure, let's go with that then. So, uh, that is, sorry, Perfect. light is getting on it. Yeah, so three, three to five. Excellent. Um, all right. Uh, so, um, your main thing was trying to figure out if there's any like holes or, or where they could have gone through. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to find a method of, of escape looking for recent tracks. That would be a large person. Yeah. So it, it, the, uh, the spider kind of gives you, cause you, you have like this mo controller with like visuals and stuff like that. And it, it starts sending you information that's able to kind of piece together almost a Metal Gear Solid, like the kind of viewpoints and such of the different constructs. Uh, and you can kind of see where the hole is. It's very slight uh, as, you're, as you're looking around at it. Uh, but following that pathway, uh, there are some footsteps uh, further on out uh, leading back towards the, uh, the northern gate itself. Oh, so leading away from or leading towards the hole or away from the hole? Uh, moving towards the hole, like going past okay. the hole to the north. Um, oh. So um, just guessing on as you're trying to put us together, you guys came out from the western gate. Uh, so it looks like she might have twirled around, got in through the northern gate if, if she was trying to get back into uh, the place. All right. Well, here's some good information for you. And I, I point at everything. I'm like, so this is where she went. This is where she went through. There are the nearby drones, but I don't think they would have seen her. Uh, but as we're pursuing, uh, is there any way I could see if it's only her footprints? Or is she by herself as during this escape? Yeah, definitely with, with kind of the successes you have uh, had, you can tell that it's just her. Only one set of footprints leading out. Mm. One set. So you don't think it's worth checking these constructs out before we head that way? I'm... I leave that up to your... Uh, your area of expertise, because I'm more of a... I'm a more... Um, expedient kind of person i like to uh, I, I if this was me i would just pursue until i stop being able to find footprints well we have to wait but, for stone so i guess we can spend the time checking out the constructs while we're waiting for stone to catch back up with us yeah i didn't think of that i mean because let's be honest i don't think either one of us even though you have your How? air taser i don't think either one of us is equipped to deal with jennifer on our own oh no 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 uh based on uh I mean, they said that she knows how to use the armors, right? That's 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 the thing. Like that's what she used to do. That's why she is. Ugh. Right. Yeah, I don't want uh, to face her on my own. No. Um, have we had enough of a breather to draw back up at all? Uh, no, you haven't really had any time to relax. I uh, think, I think I... that we. Uh, m my suggestion. Mm -hmm. You check the drones, and I'll see what we can do about contact getting to the uh, gate and getting the officers to contact Stone so we can meet back up. Because that is one thing I did not think about, was how to get him back to the North Gate with us, especially since now we know that's where we need to go. That's true. 
Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't feel like backtracking back and forth. <laughs> no. No, maybe they can send up a flare or something. Who knows? Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to go to the closest construct that would have been on the right side of the gap. That yeah. Made. All right. Yeah, to, to get into the program of any of these, it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, just uh, one success. And that would be the spades? Uh, yeah, gear. I, I don't have any. Hmm. All right. Well, you are trained in it, so you could use two cards uh, to each sure. value of eight. Okay, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. All right, so I'll do Perfect. Two... All right. So looking at it, it looks like uh, some uh, some registering of perception has been uh, deleted from this uh, construct um, during that time frame. Yeah. So Edward, um, oddly enough, there was they tried to erase the record, but they left fingerprints behind, showing us. Showing me, at least, that they tried to remove the presence. So they weren't so skilled to escape notice, but they were skilled enough to try to remove the notice. I'm wondering what else they noticed. Because surely, surely they must not- know that we would notice that Jennifer came this way. So high they- level, A high-level check, it wouldn't have come up, but I've been debugging construct code for a while now so it things seemed out of sorts and i was able to pinpoint where they inserted kind of a delete command okay all right all right so, now, i don't understand any of that but i am so glad that we stopped so i so what i'm thinking is did, jennifer definitely has help jennifer didn't alter the code for the construct that they put in the cell as far as i could tell so there is there is something broader going on here. And I am worried that there's more people that could have possibly be in that had been in the militia with her, especially here in this, you know, quote unquote remote outpost away from the Citadel, that they may be helping the guards here may be helping more than we realize. Oh that, that, yeah, definitely. I hope Stone is safe wherever he is. I would I I could check out the other construct on the other side of this gap, but I am fairly certain we will find the same thing, but I will definitely check if you want me to. But after I do that, I'm going to have to rest for a, a I bit. I was going to suggest uh, let's go to the gate and rest and wait for our companion to arrive. I agree. Once we figure out a way for them to sig- signal him. Yeah, so you're uh, resting at the northern or uh, western gate? Uh, northern gate, wherever we think she went through. Got it. All right, cool. Uh, and going over to uh, Stone. How's it going? What you up to? Hey, I'm uh, I'm here. I'm at the the guard forms. Where do I where do I think I would find Gregerson? Yeah, so looking at the address, uh, you're going back into the city uh, and okay. kind of uh, deep uh, into the, the city. Um, yeah, the, the address is right there. It's like this uh, lovely apartment complex, uh, almost like a, a, a U. So it, it's one where it's gated uh, apartment with a garden as well as a fountain in the center of it. Uh, and they live on like the second floor. That is a nice place. Yeah. Uh, my mom's old place wasn't rent controlled. I might move. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll through the gate, no matter how I have to do it, and then uh, go up to his door and give it a good knock. Yeah, it's just open. There, there really isn't any like locks or anything. Uh, the uh, knock happens, um, and um, you hear a couple of shuffling, and then. Uh, Gregerson appears, uh, kind of poking his head, uh, through the crack in the door. It's still kind of locked on the, uh, the top part of the chain, um, as they peer through. They look sweaty and, and tired. Um, Gregerson? Yeah, what's up? Hey, it's, uh, it's me, it's Stone. I don't know if we know each other. I'm also part of the militia, as you can see. Yeah, I, I see. You know it's late, right? I don't, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's late. And I know you probably like don't want to be having this conversation right now. And like, trust me, I don't really want to be having this conversation. Awesome. Either. That makes sense. But uh but uh if you but hey, but hey, but hey, you know, if you if you shut the door, you open it all the way, you let me inside, we can get this done real quick, really easy, really simple, and uh we can both just go our separate ways. You can get your sleep, I can finish the job that I'm doing. So if I close the door or open it, uh, we just move this forward, right? Hey, you know, if you close the door, then things things will move forward, but in a way that you might not like. If you open the door, things move forward in a way that I think that we can both benefit from. All right, fine. He unlocks it and kind of flops down on the couch. What's up? Why why are you here? Hey, uh, you know, first of all, cool, cool, cool setup you got here. I like like the posters on the wall it gives it like a real individuality. Uh even though it's the same government issue posters that we all get. You hang it yeah, hung it nice. on a different wall than I did. Uh anyway. Take a seat across from him. So uh God at this person I'm looking for, and you might be able to help me with finding them. Her name's Jennifer. She's a redhead. I uh, used to have long hair. Probably doesn't anymore. She was, yeah, uh, I know. Uh, I know Jennifer. I've seen her. She's in the cell block I attend to at times. Yeah, 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 yeah. I except right now she's not, and that's the problem. Okay, how can I and, help? And well, when she got away, it was when you were working so i was just wondering if maybe you'd seen something or okay so there's a little confusion there um there's definitely a little confusion yes yeah i was sick so i did not turn up for work uh Uh, okay who covered for you then you know uh, when you when you can't show up you got to get your shifts covered that's in the manual uh, I don't, I mean, I, I just, I, I let them know that I wouldn't be able to, to do so. And they said they would, um, take care of it. Right, 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 right. right. Um, I guess, uh, your sickness is why you, uh, you appear so disheveled and, and, and quite frankly, uh, sweaty. You don't have to be a dick about it. Hey, you know, I'm just pointing out that. Okay. Seems that what you're saying might be true, but you also look sweaty and uh, your chin is offset. That's because you know I've been in a couple of scrapes myself, and uh, that that happens when you take a few to the chin. I'm not ashamed of it, and it's fine that you point it out. You should be, but I guess whatever. Oh well, I guess if we're just just blatantly being an asshole now, uh, you you're skinny and you smell bad. Fair. And uh, also, I don't believe that you're actually sick. So uh, I'm going to need you to come forward with me and tell me the truth on what actually happened with Jennifer. Or, uh, you know, maybe when I leave here, your chin will be slightly offset. I told you the truth. I don't know what more I can do to convince you of this fact. Is there like a, a card thing that I can do? to? There is. It would be empathy uh, if you have that skill. Um, I d- and... uh, only enough, I don't. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, why don't you give me a Steam check to see if this person's lying? Okay. Uh, <laughs> question. What do jokers do? Oh, they're always a, a success. Okay. And when it comes to numbers. What are queens? Queens or jacks are based, uh, you'll see in your character sheet what they represent, so it should show you the uh, the number in suit. Okay. Oh, okay. In Steam, alright. How many successes do I need? One. Uh, Steam, right? So that's clubs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they, uh, they they appear to be telling the truth. They're as confused, though, slightly irritated that you're here. All right, Gregerson. I hope I didn't get sick by walking into your house. You might have. Well, 
I guess I'll just deal with that later. Yep. So uh, you don't know who took over your shift? You don't know what could have happened? No, I don't. I I let them know. I told them I couldn't make it. They said they'd handle it, and it was handled. I haven't been back to work since. This is probably going to continue for a couple of days, so I'll be out of work for a little bit. Okay, well, get better. Sorry, I called you sweaty. Uh, okay, I am sweaty. I'm sorry I said that your face looks like the backside of an ass. I mean, you didn't... Those weren't the words that you used, but I I imagine that it was the attention that you had oh, in your heart. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, maybe I thought about it, but I didn't actually say it. Uh, you know... Maybe we got off on the wrong foot and we could try to be friends later. We'll we'll see. I'll see you at the picnic company picnic. And uh maybe we can play some some bag toss. Yeah, like corn? Like bag toss. Okay. So you, you know, you yeah, have the the wood thing, you got no, the bag. No, I, I guess we call it cornhole where I where where I'm from. I don't bag toss sounds weird. I I guess it's different. Yeah, on the, on the uh, north of Florence and the and the south of Florence, which is where I've decided I live. Uh, that's fair. Okay. Well. Um, bye. Bye. I usher you out. Close the door. <laughs> that was ultimately unhelpful. Well, I guess it was kind of helpful because now I know that he wasn't there. Just kind of thinking out loud. Right now to myself. Uh, maybe I should head back to the the office I was just at and talk to Melissa and see if she knows who got on Gregerson's shift because he called in sick. I'm I don't know why she didn't just like say that. Maybe she's not good at micromanaging. I'm not <laughs> sure who he called. I should ask who he called. It's too late to go back in though. We've already said our goodbyes. It'd just be awkward. I, I'll just head. I'll just head back. I'll just go back. Excellent. Um, so as you're you're kind of getting over there, uh, we'll say that uh, a messenger went out to kind of basically connect you with the other two. Uh, so at least you know where they're at. Um, one of the militia messengers kind of hands you a, a little envelope that says, uh, you know, your two companions are at the North Gate waiting for you. Oh, hey, thank you, uh, 10 year old boy. No problem. <laughs> Ten year old boy just heads on out. All right, they're at the north gate. Well, where I have to go is north, so I guess I'll see him on my way out of the gate. Yeah, well, yours, your way you're going because the vegetable gardens are more so on the west uh, oh, yeah. and then a little bit north. So you can either go meet with them first and then go around, or you could go around and go to the the headquarters and then wrap around towards the northern gate. Go to the headquarters first. Excellent. Yeah. All right. You go in. The secretary is waving at you as you enter. Hey. Did you uh, uh, find the criminal? So not yet. Um, oh, okay. I went to go talk to the person who was supposed to be on shift for when the criminal escaped. He says that he's been sick. He called in sick, and he got his shift covered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I who do is there is there like paperwork? Or is there something I can check to see who covered his shift? Because it's very uh, important that I talk to this person. Yeah, uh, I mean, the commander would have the uh, the papers concerning that. I can go into her office and acquire it for you. Uh, but she's in an important meeting right now, so. I mean, if you can go into her office and you get those right now? Uh, probably not right now. I could do it afterwards, though, and have it delivered or a copy of it. How long is her meeting going to be? Um, I don't know. Um, she seemed to suggest that it would take some time. Some time could be any amount of time. All right. It could be. Uh, I guess I got to go meet up with my other two, uh, by the North Gate. I guess, yeah, send someone out to find us uh, when you can get your hands on the paperwork. Go meet with them. Uh, you've been you've been a lot of help today, and I appreciate you more than I appreciate most of the people I've spoken to tonight. Oh well, thank you. Yeah, I'm top tier. I like to think top top ten percent or something. You know, so that that's good. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. all right, I'll see you. All right, see you at the picnic. Yeah. 
so yeah, eventually you guys see Stone kind of approaching you guys at the north gate. Good. What did you find out, oh. Stone? Uh, so the guy, Gregerson, yeah, he was mm-hmm. sick. Uh, he couldn't come in. They someone else on. I went by the office to see if I could get the name of the person who took the shift over and uh, send the paper to us when well, they can. I kind of look at Edward. I look, wait. Melissa said that Gregerson was the guard on duty. Well, the paper said that he was on schedule. We never, like... I pull out the papers and start looking through them. Is there a list of any other shift change or anyone else being there? Uh, no, it it, it has uh, Gregerson's signature uh, upon it. And you didn't uh, think he was lying? It seemed like he was shooting straight with me. I mean, he looked. <laughs> you should have seen him. <laughs> he didn't look well. You said you already went back and talked to Melissa? And I talked to the secretary. Melissa was in a important meeting that will end at some time. Yeah. So for those looking at the papers, if give me a uh, perception check. Okay. Uh, I am trained in that, and perception is... Steam. Steam. So uh, that would be uh, clubs. Uh-huh. All right. Excellent. So looking at it, you can you you kind of like going on a hunch, you go back to like further uh in, in time to look at the signatures. Gregerson's signature is very different from the Greg Gregerson signature of uh the last time he clocked in. Oh, this is different. This is definitely not his signature. Forgery? Uh yes, definitely. And because they gave me enough papers to prove that, I do not think that your friend is in on it. So exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys mind, but like walking around this whole like city and the fields, I'm just kind of like, just need to sit down for like a second. No, no, no. We, 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 we need to confer over a few things anyway. So let's, uh, let's find some place where we can rest a moment. It looks like, uh, this, uh, Jennifer left through this gate or at least came this way and had help. She actually had someone hack the um, the construct. Ah, uh, so uh, yes, yes. Uh, hmm. And but the thing is, so I did find uh, fingerprints. Oh, not fingerprints. Footprints. Footprints. They're much bigger than fingerprints. I found footprints uh, leading here, and we found the space where she would have. Uh, gone through uh and because of that we think that because the uh construct is still standing and was hacked we have reason to believe now that uh she was involved uh or that someone else is involved if melissa is involved in this it's uh that's very Astute observations. It seems like you guys got like a lot of good information out of what you went and did. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I I wasn't able to come back with as good information. I pull a flask out of my uh of my jacket, open it up. I take a I take a swig and I offer some to Declan. It's like you want some? It's lemonade. It's, oh, it's oh, okay. It's hot. It's, it is warm. Pass it over to Edward. Well, what doesn't kill you? <laughs> I take a sip. It tastes like hot lemonade. <sighs> I don't sell yourself short stone. I mean, you did discover that there is a conspiracy within the guards in this in this vegetable garden that tracks with what we're seeing here. That that there is something much larger going on than just a prison break. Hmm. When I write my memoirs, I will be sure to name this chapter The Guards in the Garden. I think that will play out really well. It definitely has a ring to it. All right. Uh, so do we want to go ahead and take a break a moment after this scene? Or yes. Sounds good. Yeah, we can take a break. All right. Right now. All right. Well, we are going to take a quick 10-minute break. We'll have a splash screen up, and we will see you all in 10 minutes. See you all soon, people. Excellent.
I can dig it. <laughs> well, hi, and welcome back, everyone, to a Quiet Gentleman's new show that we are doing called Seriously Let's Play, uh, which is kind of a continuation of our old podcast and starting something new. And uh, for those of you first joining us right now, we are playing the wonderful game Necrobiotic uh, coming to Kickstarter soon from Penny for a Tale. And we have with us today Mitchell Wallace. So uh, we just left off with our characters resting, but we're going to get right back in the game. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, you guys are taking uh, about 25, 30 minutes resting, relaxing, kind of getting yourselves uh, ready um, and, and all the good stuff. Um, so you discard one card from your hand and then fill back up the six. Oh, nice. <gasps> oh, Sophie's choice. No, not that bad. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So where are you guys headed off to next? Heading north, I guess. Well, uh, let's talk. To, yeah, we're going to go to the gatehouse, talk to the uh, guards there. Uh, and let's see what we go, where we go from there. Yeah. So the, the gate's closed. Um, you, you come up to the, the guards and... Um, I'm just kind of eating a sandwich. Uh, evening. Uh, uh, yeah, hey. yeah. I'd like to think he's eating a banana sandwich, and I'm walking with my peanut butter sandwich, and we bump into each other. <laughs> and peanut and now, butter. Banana. Now we and now we have a lucrative business venture on our hands. You ever had uh, a peanut butter banana sandwich? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we're looking for someone. All right. Who uh, uh, how can we help? Uh, they would have had really short red hair. No hair at all. Uh, okay. Two options. So, um, uh, I mean, I don't... People come in and out all the time uh, oh. during the day, so... Well, this would have been uh, after check-in, or after all the inmates went back to their bunkhouse. Okay. Um... You have a picture, correct, uh, Stone? No, you, you have the paper to you. Remember, he got peanut butter all over it. Oh, I, you have the... yeah. <laughs> oh that's right. I'm, I'm so sorry. You are now the curator of... Well, I reach paper. into the bag and pull out the, uh, pull out the picture. This is why I bequeathed you with the title Keeper of the Page. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he looks at it. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm watching him for any reaction. I'm 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 trying to see if he's trying to gauge how he should respond or. Yeah. You know. uh, why don't you go and give me empathy? All right. I am not trained in that, but that is Steam or what is that? Uh, Steam. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I'll go ahead and just. Boom. Excellent. So looking at them, they, they, they just seem kind of disinterested. Um, and um, yeah, they, they, they look at, yeah, nah, I mean, people, I don't know. I, I haven't seen it. Like we, we've had some people come through. Um, uh, we don't really check to see their, their faces and the like. Um, so so, uh, but you have had people come through. Yeah, yeah, we, we have people come through. Do they d check in or anything? I mean, not really. You don't really you don't need even to sign anything or anything? No, they don't need to check in from, from the <laughs> gates. Um, I mean, unless you're a cannibal, then I mean, we can pretty much tell. Uh, but, like... Uh, have you seen cannibals? No, no, we don't go that far out of the gate. Oh. I'm just curious how close they come in. Is that no. on the other side of this gate? I mean, further on, like, and he points out to, like, you know, past the gate towards, like, the horizon and the yeah. wilderness and stuff like that. Like, that's, they're over there. So no reports of any marauders or cannibals anywhere close to the, lately? Uh, that's not, I mean, maybe, but uh, that's, that's the, the techno fonts. That's, that's their army. They, uh, 
And I think most of the time I keep it on lock so we don't worry. How about groups of people? Like this would have been at least two, maybe three people. Like they would have exited as a group. Maybe even came, uh, uh, yeah. Exited as a group. Interesting. Um, maybe a little suspicious. Like, like glancing over their shoulders the whole time. Uh, so there was a group of individuals who came by, um, wearing hoods and the like, but, uh, and they, they passed by, said hi. One of them was a feminine voice, at least. That help? That helps. Well, so they others, just they, kept... they came through here. Yeah. I just... Maybe you'd realize something more if we told you that that person was also a uh, was also a criminal sentenced here and is now being pursued by the Citadel. Oh well, that's. I assume you guys are the ones pursuing that. That sucks for you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I wish we could help more, but like honestly, the you know we're not really checking for for convicts and the like. Um, that's that seems to be the problem yes yeah. it is super convenient when uh we got to go in and out but like i can now see the flaw in this system well it doesn't happen often right and when it does they have people like you to follow it down yeah. um, uh, well, you know the people in the hoods they uh see which direction they went um they went down the street and then to the left um there's not much in the northern area of the of Florence. There's a couple of apartments and everything, but a lot of that stuff is empty. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to find them out. I mean, I don't know how someone. I mean, someone could hide there for a while. You'd have to check like every apartment, but maybe if it's nighttime, you can get some light, find out who they are, where they are. Well, that 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 helps. Um, I. I guess we're having to go on, gentlemen. Well, uh, we definitely know that she came this way. What color were their hoods? Just black. Okay, just, you know, always always good to know if there's some sort of, like, distinguishing thing. Oh, yeah, distinguishing would be black. Um, yeah. I... Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. I hope you guys have a good one. Yeah, hey, you, you too. too. You too. Hey, thanks, thanks, thanks. So we're gonna walk through the gate and start heading down the road. Uh, I'm gonna be like, what is with every guard we come across? Do they not teach manners anymore? Look, oh, look, I I thought you that got, you, nice. you you do this job for a long time. Look, I know you you got like a stick up like way up your butt when it comes to the rules but you do this for a long time you realize that you're seeing a lot of the same people every day you kind of just stop looking at them it's not a stick you don't understand if i don't follow procedures and i screw up a construct that is like such a horrible thing i have to make sure that everything is followed exactly otherwise you don't want to get in that kind of trouble screwing up a construct yeah, well, you know, worst case scenario, people in the militia, you know, screw up a little bit. They just send someone else in to clean it up, get a little bit of a reprimand. But yeah, you know. Uh, so are we? So we, are, are you thinking that we're gonna have to check out those apartments? Well, let's let's go up the street and let's turn left to see if they're still there. Uh, so I'm going to get my uh, drone spider, and I'm I'm looking to see now if I see muddy prints like uh they would have come from the fields maybe that we can follow some muddy prints for a bit all right um give me a perception check uh it's been a while uh and we did say there was rain a little bit oh yeah uh, so this will be two successes required okay uh now do what they need to be uh i i am trained in it for perception uh do I need to? Can I use multiple suits with that, or does it have to be straight only the clubs? Uh, so the clubs in this case would provide you successes, but you can use different suits and add those numerical values together to achieve an eight. Uh, oh, okay. In in combination. Yeah. Hmm. 
So I'm, I'm wondering if uh, I feel like it would be worth it. Because I, mean, I, I do have a uh, six of clubs. Yeah. Uh, that That's the only clubs I have. So I guess it would come down to utilizing another card to uh, or a set of cards to that have to equal eight, correct? Mm hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So you have a, a what was that one you just showed me? What number? It was a six of clubs. Yeah. So if you had anything like a two or above with any other suit, would oh, okay. yield you an additional success since you then, can play two cards in this manner. All right. So I will go with a three diamonds. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, so looking out over, uh, you notice that there are uh, footprints and such. Uh, very kind of uh, fresher and in, in, uh, somewhat light against the mud. Um, they go, they veer off to the left. Uh, and it actually doesn't go that far. You you look down in in down this empty street, um, and you can kind of see, kind of somewhat annoyingly, that there's a construct like spraying the the mud and stuff off into the 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 sewers, um, but the the footsteps kind of veer off um, into a a lovely villa. Um, it's it's one of those ones where you can kind of see like uh tall walls all around it uh, and a lovely gate like this would be a, a beautiful mansion back in the day and now it's just kind of empty um it looks like it's um it's being it's in the process of being repaired a few of the windows have like wooden boards and stuff over it and and there looks to be like a construct next to it with uh, like tools and stuff for construction, though right now it's kind of off. Uh, so maybe it works like just during the day. So, uh, Stone and uh, yeah, um, I was thinking. Yeah, it makes sense that you're here. It make uh, not 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 saying that doing this horrible job that requires you to leave the city walls is great, and I don't think that you deserve to be here. But it makes sense for you to be here for there to be someone to investigate this taking place but i was wondering why are why am i here and why of course is well our friendly local architect here as well you, you know you found the footprints with your ass and that seemed like a very good I, well, reason for you to be here like obviously you have a certain set of skills that can be you utilized in order to get this job done no, same no. with declan if Declan wasn't here, we wouldn't have been able to like look inside the the constructs. I just, I'd be stuck That's... like staring at them and like yelling at them to see if they could answer me. They probably wouldn't. They wouldn't. But that's the thing. Nobody would have known that our skills were needed normally, unless there's something bigger going on. You no, know, maybe this is like a training exercise. Maybe it's like a friendship test. Maybe they're testing limits of our bond. Well, no, let's... No. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, I, I'm just saying. What if there's something more going on that we are unaware of, but that the Citadel is aware of? Oh, that's been my suspicion this entire time. I mean, and that's you know. why we're. That's why we're here. It let's actually, find out. Okay. I oh I I was going to say, uh, Declan. Since there's a construct over there, and since you said you're not exactly a physical person, you could always. Reprogram that as a bodyguard for the moment. That would probably take more time than we have right now. That is a lot of code to convert a construction bot construct bot. Sorry, a construction con. Ugh. It's too much time. <laughs> as long as you say so. Uh, However, yeah. I was thinking that I could probably look at the code on the construction and see who owns this villa that might give us some insight on what's going on okay yes yeah, so, please feel free all means uh do, i'm sorry no 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 please please feel free feel free uh, uh, yes yeah. i'm gonna check the structural integrity of this gate yeah it's uh i mean it, it's old so and it's not even locked um so you just kind of like push it and it, it opens up a little bit that was easy <laughs> yeah i'm gonna investigate the construct and see if i can discern who owns this villa 
All right. Uh, go ahead and give me that one success for just kind of looking over the programming. So this would be the spade? Uh, correct, yeah. Spades for, for your gear. So that would be one success. Excellent. Uh, so this doesn't have an owner. No one owns this. Uh, it's kind of uh, suited for renovation. Um, and this kind of happens a lot in Florence. Like, with half the population gone, some of the buildings have kind of fallen in disrepair. But they, they try to fix things up in the hope that humanity will one day have a resurgence and that will have places to, to fill. Uh, so just this whole street's like empty. And there's probably a couple of buildings that look like they're being prepped or, or worked on. Uh, and this one's just kind of one of those. Well, unfortunately, not a whole lot of information. Um... Hmm. I know. It's a, it's, uh, yeah, far shots, far shots. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, it's based on the code. This is just our a standard renovation construct. I mean, nobody owns it. It's there. The villa's being restored because the villa needs to be restored, not because someone's trying to move into it. Well, hey, you know what? That actually does tell us something. They could if be hiding run, in there. If we run into people in there, they're not supposed to be here. So. Uh, if we beat them up a little bit and they're not the people we're looking for, yeah, maybe they have to get beat up a little bit anyway. So let's... Uh... Uh, 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 one, one, one last thing, gentlemen. One, one thing. Because a uh, far shot, far shot. I'm going to pull out my radio scanner really quick and just see if there are any local signals. Just, you know, far shot. Yeah. Um... There, there is um, a a kind of an opera like song being played over one of the channels. How much? How far away can you pick up a signal? Not, not far. Like it, it it's definitely less than a mile. But uh, it, it, I was like, uh, I was thinking, I'm here for a reason. You're here for a reason, and we have certain skills, much as Stone has pointed out. I was just curious if maybe it's because our opponents might be using those same skills, much as they did to uh, bypass the, uh, you know, the, the constructs at the prison. That's something think, only you would have been able to realize. But, you know. Do you think you could send your spider into that villa and see if there's anybody in there? It, it's, it's still kind of tethered to me, so I think it would risk us real, them realizing yeah. that we're here. Got you. Okay. Does that make sense? No, that makes sense. Oh, turn it up. This is my favorite part. <laughs> the opera. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, gentlemen, do, do we just go knock on the door? Hey, I, I, knocking is not my preferred form of entry right this moment if she is in there. I mean, well, we should lost travelers? Them. We could just not say we're... Uh, I, I guess lost travelers wouldn't be a good lot. No, nah, I'm not I'm very. Really yeah, that. I wouldn't believe that, and I'm no. I say I'm we just go. I'm in. stupid. And hope for the best at this point. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not going to accomplish anything out here. So let's let's move forward. All right. So All right. Cross our fingers that she does not have the. Uh, she has not made friends with anyone who could provide her with a set of armor. Don't worry, I'll be in front. So if uh, if things come to blows, I'll get hit first. Have you seen what those armors do? No. If you come to blows, I think. Yeah, your body will be blown apart, and while I can, I can do a lot to help save your life. I don't know if I can bring you back. Well, you know, do you have a better idea? No, I think we're going in and hoping we're just for the going best. in. I just want us to be, you know, if we aware. Have, if you have to run, run for the guardhouse. I don't know if they'll protect us very much, but yes, that's just my opinion. And if there is screaming, that won't that will not be me. It will, but let's just pretend it's not me. <laughs> well, we always do. I'm so much better in bureaucratic situations. I've seen you fill out paperwork. I can attest to that. Uh, yep. Yep. After we get done with this, and I and I crack my neck, and I like pull out my sonic sonic club, 
is going to be a lot of paperwork. And then I make my way inside. <clears throat> Following. Bring it up the rear. All right. So uh, as you um, uh, come in, uh, you can kind of hear a little bit of that same music echoing uh, the closer you get uh, coming from. Um, well, it, it's something within. It's not it's not the actual uh, uh, like vo vocal like there, uh, but it's it's a uh, it's coming through a speaker, too. You creep around a uh, dirt floor underneath you. You see like wooden boards lining the windows. Uh, but there's like the gorgeous like marble staircase that leads to a, a very beautiful double door with glass on either side, uh, almost in a mosaic pattern. So different colors and such. I want to look inside the glass. Or is it, <clears throat> is it like a uh, stained glass that you can't really see through? Uh, you can if you like it's stained glass, but you if you like kind of put your eye like real close, you can start to distinguish things. Uh, but before we get into that, we're gonna need uh five successes uh from like not from all of you guys together to uh, approach this thing in a stealthy manner. Okay, what's uh what's the feature? steel? Yeah. and dexterity would work with this. Okay. All right. So I'm offering up two. I got steel is diamonds, correct? Mm hmm. Yeah. I've, uh, uh... Diamond and a Joker. Oh, wow. Uh, where are you at, uh, Declan? <laughs> um, apparently, I am not aware of the stealthy nature and I am just stomping around. Oh, geez. I don't have any diamonds. I have zero diamonds. I don't think stealth is going to be our opportune moment at this time. No. Because if I if I buy up to a success, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, in that case, can I not use those two cards then? Yeah, yeah. If you guys together are like, we can't really. Like, yeah, you obviously you guys are trying, but it's just kind of, you know. <laughs> I, think well, my, I, I think my character's more of, uh, I'm almost walking hurriedly towards the music because I want to see if this is in one piece, whatever it's coming from. Yeah. And then I'm hollering out, Edward, did you turn off that transceiver? <laughs> it's like, hey, did you... Uh, uh... I stealthfully run up and kick the glass open. Perfect. Perfect. With my repeating crossbow in hand. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it opens up and... Um, well, you see her. Kind of, uh, in the, in the center of this, like, mansion with stairs going up and such like that, curtains, uh, kind of brush back with the, the force of, of the wind kind of coming in. Uh, she is, uh, most of her hair is gone, is shortened and in tatters, uh, wearing a kind of black cloak. Um, and she's listening to the radio. For the love of humanity, can I see it? And I'm pointing at the radio or whatever. Oh, when I <laughs> when I kick the door in and I see her, I go, "Hey, are you Jennifer?" Uh, no. She points at Stone, and yes, pointing <laughs> over to you. I uh, my eyes are just wide, and I'm uh, I'm giddy running towards it. And I, I look at the radio. Okay, uh, I pull. Please, while please. While he's looking at the radio, I'll pull the wig out and hand it to Declan. Just be like, sneak up behind her and put this on just so we know for sure. Look, if there's going to be anything that happens, can we at least put this out in the hallway? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking over the radio. I'm just turning it around and just, how is it powered? Yeah, it, it looks like uh, you, you can kind of see as the music is, is coming from it. Um, it looks like one of those. Uh, so, so it is basically like a, uh, a little droplet um, with, with speakers. Who knows where it's coming from, but maybe like within the felt of this thing. Uh, and it has like a circular glowing button on the, the front of it as well as um, 
a a little back panel where possibly like maybe a battery of some sort could be placed into it to to power it. What do you call it? The radio. Is that all it is? I'm this. I, I'm literally just looking it over every inch of it. I I think in the past it was also used to give commands. You could ask it questions and stuff like that, but I don't. I don't think it really works like that anymore. Uh, did Did you fix it? It's been in my family for some time. Uh, we've kept it. How did I, you get? Uh, I'm. S- Edward, we need I'm to remember sorry, why we're I'm, here. I know I'm over, I'm a little overcome with emotion right now, and I really just um uh I'm really sorry that this is the moment that I find something so beautiful. Uh, why are you sorry about this moment? Because I'm, well, I'll, I'll let everyone else explain. You are Jennifer, correct? You meet the description. And I, I hold up the, the, the hair that Stone gave me to sneak on her head. I'm like, we know we, you cut your hair off. Yes, that's my hair. I'm Jennifer. Is there any chance that this is going to go down peacefully? Why, why is the Citadel after you so desperately? We don't even know what you did. There's got to she, be... Do you know what she... She escaped. That's what she did. That's what... I mean... Citadel that hard put, to figure out. The Citadel is not putting that much effort to recover someone unless they have something important that the Citadel wants to keep hidden. Look, like, the uh, the all prisoners are considered property of the Citadel. Uh, thus, by escaping, she has stolen property from the Citadel, making her not only an escaped felon but also a thief. Look, your friend Architect is indeed right. I know information that the Citadel would prefer I not speak to anyone about, and I have no intention of doing so. I merely broke out in order to hear this one more time. Um, This can be peaceful. Just let me finish listening for tonight, and you can take me back in the morning. Does that sound satisfactory? Okay, this isn't isn't one of those situations where at the end of the song, Bomb goes off, right? Because if, if it's one of those, I'm going to be kind of mad at you. Um, I mean, I'm right next to it, so if a bomb did go off, I think I would also be very upset. Can, oh. I, can I determine if she's being truthful to us? Yeah. Uh, empathy? Okay. Uh, do do you have empathy? Doing... Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. At least one of us has empathy. <laughs> <laughs> And f- yes, I yeah, I am trained in it. I have to be. I'm a doctor. I have to have that good bedside manner. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm gonna look at her, study her. When she told me that she would go back with us peacefully, I don't personally believe her because she went through a lot of effort to listen to some music for the night. So, how many successes do I need? Uh, you need one, and then everyone after that will give you uh. In a more insight. Uh, so if you want to, if you had any questions concerning her. Okay. So I'll spit. So do I need to spend them all at once for the questions or? Yeah, all at once. I'm going to spend two. All right. Yeah. She, two. she is telling the truth. And then I guess my follow up question was you went through all of that effort to. Corrupt a construct, drag it back to your cell. Someone else coded it unless you did it yourself just to listen to some music. Yeah, she kind of taps the uh, this little radio before her. Um, and the look on her face suggests that she has a connection to this song more. Like, it's obviously, it's very important. Um, I mean, that <clears throat> sounds very nice, everything. But, Look, you know, we we were given orders by the Citadel to bring you back. And you've given us the runaround. And you've done a lot of things that have put us in situations where we've had to deal with people that have, that have just... Have, 
It's been a long night. I don't feel inclined to be nice to you. Especially since when we first met, you lied to me. So I, I don't think, I think I'm just going to take you back now. Uh, and you can Come listen on. to the song, you know, just, I don't know, think about it later. Sing it to Stone, yourself. I, th- Stone, I really I don't care. We, I think, Stone. I think. Hey, we, why, should, why should we do her a favor? We don't owe her anything. She's no. made us run around all night. We've. All She's not the problems. only one that ran run us around. The guards there are obviously involved with this. I think, and you may correct me if I'm wrong, Jennifer. I think the guards assisted her in this to give her something. I don't know what, but I think it would behoove us to show her a little compassion in humanity. And honestly, I I want to sit here and listen to it. You guys would never make it in the militia. No, I, I wouldn't. That's why I'm an architect. But the thing is, come on. And the thing is, in the end, you're getting her back, no matter what. And well, why do I? Her. Why do I have to do it on her terms? This should this should be on our terms. This is on our turn. We um, are the uh, we are the authority. We do, we do not give in to the demands of uh, thieves and escapees, and probably terrorists. I'm putting that label on you. I don't remember doing anything like that. Um, well, tonight has been a terror for me. Well, why don't you sit down, relax, and just listen? Yeah, you were singing along with it outside, Stone. You might enjoy it more. I, I like this song. This song is, without a doubt, a banger. Sure. Yes. I don't like her, though. That's so, fair. That's where but I'm conflicted. We should show compassion. It's not often shown in Florence. Things tend to be black and white, which I sometimes agree with. But if we can rectify the situation without killing or maiming someone, I am for that. I fine. You you were seen coming this direction with two other people. Where are they? Gone. Who are they? I'm not going to tell you the people that assisted me. Okay. All right. We'll finish this song and then, and then we get to, we get to do some extracurriculars. Such as? We'll How see. about just jogging back to the door? I mean, come on, Stone, literally. Oh, we're finishing the song. Yes, please. We'll do that. I, obviously, that's something that you guys need to have happen. I'm oh. sure that by the time that we've finished arguing about it, the song's already over. Our job no, can last for about 20 minutes. Oh, Our job man. is just to bring her back. We're going there was to bring no her time back. limit on it. Quite frankly, this is so much quicker than I expected it to be. Yes, but we should also figure out who helped her. I think that is something that the Citadel will have to send in investigators for because I don't think the three of us will get to the bottom of how far or how deep this goes. And I think you I underest I think you underestimate uh how well I can extract information out of people. No, I I I am very certain you could. At the same Plans time one of, one of us could probably get hurt in said fight. And uh also beyond that there's just no need. Why expend resources when you don't have to? Because we should figure out who in the... Look, it's very important to me as a member of the militia to find out who in the militia is on the side of the of the convicts and who's helping them. Okay, very... Well, this matters. This matters to me. Why, okay. why can't you just accept that this is important to me? All right, this song's important to her, and you're going to give her the song. I would like to find out this information. Why can't I, I have that? Why don't I get I nice agree. things? I will agree. I will agree, all right? We will listen to the song and give Jennifer what she'd like. And then we'll go back to, we'll take her back. And then we will, I will help you. I will personally help you without the conscription to find out what is going on. I will too, for that matter. I don't think we need to go back to find out that information. We can get that information here and then take her back. But they might want her back in one piece. They'll get her back in one piece, just maybe a little bruised. 
<sighs> as long as she can work, right? That's all she needs to be able to do. I can so kill wish, her. You wish to show uh, apathy in order to hunt down those with compassion. Um, I'm just trying to do my job. Hey, right? you never wonder why. What is the right thing? You just follow the rules. That's not my job to wonder why. My job to get you back and to find out who got you out. I think some of the most dangerous people are those who just follow directions and not ever questioned why, whether it was right or wrong. You know what? I think that somebody in your position would think that because you made the wrong choice. And that's what got you there in the first place. Now you're you trying didn't. to. St- she no, she did something wrong. That's why she's in 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 labor camp. Look, I'm almost a hundred years old. That, that is that was not expected. I didn't expect to hear you say that. <laughs> yeah. So for a setting thing, uh, because of the advanced medicine and stuff like that, a fifty year old will actually be like a hundred. They just can take care of each other's bodies infinitely more and replace parts. So humanity can live like a, a, a lot longer than they used to and actually look younger than they were. And she does look young, maybe like thirties. Um, she was a, uh, one of the militia or the army that wore the power armor, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she she's like top of the line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, now that oh, that's been explained to me, that's not that weird, I guess. Yeah, it's not that weird. Like you, you guys probably are are maybe sixty or seventy, really, but you you look like thirty or twenty, um, and stuff like that. I understand what you're saying about the black and white and following blindly, and I must admit that I do the same. That I want to follow the rules because it has saved Florence from deteriorating into chaos and anarchy and ending our civilization however i'm also tempered as a physician for compassion so if you're on the up and up with us that all you want to do is listen to the music and then you will go back to your cell i will support you in this and then i'll look at stone and i will help you navigate the bureaucratic red tapes see how far this corruption goes but i think that if we force the issue with Jennifer, that we're going to be on the losing side of that. Not only that, but honestly, we have no idea how deep that rabbit hole goes back at the jail. Honestly. Melissa oh, Melissa we... made it pretty clear that we were, to me at least, I interpreted what she said, that we were way over our heads. I think so you, just, you guys are just you're being a little too precious with this criminal we've been tasked to to apprehend yes. but and we will we, apprehend her if she's we, on the up and up with us. we've already apprehended her we're taking yes. her back yeah I, I, just, I just think that you know a little bit of interrogation goes a long way it comes to i don't think it will work out the way you think it will i think you don't get a say in this so shut up. I'm trying to show you compassion, Militia. I don't need compassion from you. Really? Because you're asking for the thing that will bring about your own destruction. I've, I've come this far, and I'm doing just fine. And I've never ended up on the bad side of the Citadel. I don't think it's very hard to just Know, put your head down. Follow the follow the book they give you when you're born. You somehow seem to like find yourself in a bad position. So I don't know if I should really listen to what you have to say because you can't seem to like follow basic instructions. My crime was knowing too much. Yeah, well. I don't know nothing. I'm doing great. And you want 
You want to question me? Do you think the Citadel would not think that maybe you also know too much? I'm going to get the names. And uh, I'm going to tell them everything I know. They got those brain scanners. I know that they can tell whether or not I'm lying. There is a look of horror that's coming across my face as I realize what she's saying. I mean, you know, you want us to sit here with you for 20 minutes, listen to this song. You know, what's what's to say us doing that? You weren't spending that 20 minutes telling us the stuff you know. And so if we let you listen to the rest of this song, Citadel's going to be like, hey, why were you guys in there for so long with her? I, I think assume you won't tell them. They're no, not going to realize. I think, I think the Citadel is going to put us down the deepest, darkest holes they can. I think they sent expendable people that won't be missed. I think that you guys are a little too caught up in the whole conspiracy thing. I just, I just want to get the criminal that we've been tasked to get. Which the, we are. Uh, get the extra criminals who assisted this first criminal. That's it. And then we go home and I can eat my peanut butter. All I want. And we've offered to help you. All, the only difference is the time frame. Let's listen to the song. Hey, fine. Let's listen to the song. <laughs> Sitting. I'm listening. I'm enjoying it. I love <laughs> it. I love this. <laughs> it's amazing. Eat, eat a sandwich, Stone. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> eat a Snickers. <laughs> 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 uh, so, yeah, after the song ends uh she picks up this object and hands it over to uh edward uh, all right thank you yeah it, it to me it'd be like you know uh looking at a holy relic of some sort i just found the you know the uh the goblet from you know lost crusade yeah. or something. <laughs> every so time I, every year during this time Come here and you'll be able to listen to that same song. Now you've given me a mystery. Thank you. Of course. All right, gentlemen. Let's let's go and deal out unquestionable resolute justice. Yes, thank you. Let's do exactly that. So what do you guys so Someone says something that makes sense. Where do you guys take her? Take, take her back to. The, well, what did the paper? Where did the paper want us to do? Is she going back to the Citadel with us, or did she go back to the? Yeah. Farm? What are uh, the orders? So um, you would take them to the militia headquarters, which is in charge of law enforcement here in the in Florence. Okay, so she's going back to the, the Citadel or the main city with us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go to HQ. Come on. So you guys go. Um, she just walks with you guys, um, kind of humming to herself as she she does. Uh, did you guys I'm, do anything? I'm, on the way? I'm, up, I'm up front and I'm like pouting pretty hard. <laughs> Let's see it. What's that pout? Let me see it. Just <laughs> like that. <laughs> I, I I guess I'll try to strike up a conversation with her. I mean, she's a hundred years old. She's she saw if I'm if I'm remembering the dates right, she saw the. Florence being rebuilt. Yeah, yeah, she was she was there like from the beginning. So like I was yeah, like every... so the no, I'm not trying to pry for the secrets that she knows, but I'm definitely curious about her insight on the founding of or the rebirth of Florence. Yeah, she'll talk about kind of especially the uh uh what she finds funny, the initial constructs uh which were more human like. Uh, in finding everyone's reaction to that and and how much it damaged the human psyche to kind of see that on a daily database -day basis um and then the eventual tanning of the skin and such to make them less uh less of a tie um but then she's like you know and and then when that came about it just became important for the citadel to eliminate ties between humanity because that's what they believed it took in order for humanity to continue and then you become this lifeless cold thing that florence has become void of 
creativity, sigh, and warmth. So what you're saying is creativity and warmth is more important than security, nourishment, safety? I think we each have a choice on how we want to live. When that choice is taken from us, then what's the point of living if the only purpose is just to live? There has to be something to strive for. Something beautiful to hold. You mean outside of a good work ethic and doing our duty towards the city? Yeah. Kind of lost. He after that, yeah, I would be lost in thought and thinking, pondering what she said. Yeah. You guys finally make it to the uh, militia headquarters, like this old, old, like miniature castle um, with the Citadel of Science banners on it. Uh, militia on the outside, uh, walking and enjoying themselves. Um, going through the door, secretary greets you, uh, a gentleman with a very long beard. Uh, processing. Yeah, yeah, we brought we brought her in on orders. Uh, Edward, uh, give me the papers. Oh, yes, of course. I hand over the papers. Yeah, yeah, so we were tasked to get her, got her. She looks a little different than she does in the drawing. Cut her mm-hmm. hair, whole thing. I'll debrief you on everything. I hold up the uh, hair that I still have. <laughs> oh, uh, that's probably not necessary for the uh, thing here. It seems like, um, mm, all right. Uh, we will let the Citadel know. Uh, in the meantime, she will be placed in the holding cell. Um, good job, gentlemen. It seems like you had a long night. He did most definitely have help from militia members to escape. Uh, but, you know, put me in a room with her. I can figure, I can give you names. But uh, I haven't been able to get that information just yet. Well, unfortunately, the, the paper just says the acquisition of the fugitive so um i'm just going to process it as it says on the paper uh of course you're free to do whatever you want um i guess after it uh, depending on her fate um regardless um we have a couple of pastries on the side there if you'd like to partake in some uh some hot apple cider i'm already i'm already there i'm already yeah. at a snack <laughs> and this old person just kind of like Gently takes Jennifer uh, through like the cubicles and such uh, into the holding cell all the way in the back. Oh well. And I, uh, I'll go get some cider too. Um, so, so, um, so exactly, how do you investigate militia? I have no idea. Well, uh, it's, you know, we have we have a department. It's inside the militia that's that's meant to investigate wrongdoings of militia members, and uh, you don't want to get talked to by them because uh, they have a hundred percent arrest rate and conviction record. Oh, so you, you don't, don't want to get on there. I'm at a loss. If I get the names of the people, I can give them the names of those people. And they can go get them. That's... And then also that puts me on their good side, which is the side you always want to be on with them. Well, my do, you know, do, we, do you know, Stone, how often someone in the militia used to be part of the army? Yes. That would be where we would start looking, because I think it's the those that were in the army and now in the militia will probably be ones that we would focus our search on and we could also look into whoever signed that paper whoever falsified the record for gregerson you know i'm gonna i'm just gonna wait gonna wait here see if i'm allowed to you know get get in a room with jennifer and and ask her a couple questions and uh if you know that'll be the easiest fastest way to get the information i think and 
if needed, I will stitch you up after that because I don't think she's going to take that kindly. I don't think they're going to let me interrogate a prisoner that dangerous without first securing her. Hopefully. I'm going to sit down with some pastries and some hot apple cider. Yeah, so we're, we're going to jump forward uh, after some time. Uh, this is kind of like the, the if you're looking back at a noir take, uh, this is the days afterwards, the mystery still fresh and, and thick in the air. Um, Jennifer disappears uh, that night. Supposedly, um, uh, she was picked up uh, by the Citadel. Uh, and then taken to the uh, the citadel itself and never seen of again. Um, inquiries concerning the people uh, involved in the militia are just kind of it's not really followed up. As we kind of go to each of you, what are your thoughts? What are your pondering questions? What are you What are you feeling? What are you thinking? Normals. Yeah, well, uh, it's above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've been pondering what she said, that there's more to life than just living. I don't know that it will impact me immediately, but it had, it's opened my eyes to something that there could be more hmm. out of life. Something more than just programming constructs and there could be something that brings happiness and joy. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not so much black and white anymore. Yeah. I, my character agreed with what she was saying and that's largely why he kept his mouth shut when she said it. And it's like, yeah, there is, you know, to find something that you are, passionate about my character is just like yeah you've given it to me and so i uh i have probably slowly and delicately taking apart the device she gave and making notes and writing out stuff and studying it so yeah so uh as time passes we we come back a, a year after assuming you decide to put it back together and listen on that same night um do you invite the others with you Go ahead, sorry. I well, I do, and I think I would actually uh, try and replicate it, mm -hmm. uh, make several others, and hide them throughout the city. Just random places where people, there's a chance people would hear it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, and do the others accept this invitation? Uh, I do. Yeah, I guess poker night got canceled. But they stopped inviting me. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Just like, we'll, we'll call you. <laughs> um, so around one a.m., like when it when it seems like nothing is going to happen, you hear kind of a, a crackling through the speakers. Um, uh, a woman's voice speaking from the other side. We're here. We're close by again. We brought. Something more than music. But if there's anyone out there, any humanity left, these are the coordinates that we are at. I pull open my book immediately and start scribbling. Yeah. This is the United Kingdom's delegate signing off. And then it plays like music from then on out. Oh, okay. Yeah, that first Ooh. song, that first song kind of sucked. I don't, I'm not into poetry. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty good. Uh, uh, that was awesome. We'll conclude uh, this one shot of Necrobiotic. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Uh, everyone did so well. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you. Oh, it was absolutely my pleasure. Awesome. I had now, like uh, major goosebumps with that, Andy. That was awesome. Yeah, dude. Is that is that something that we can expect to see in the book, or so? Uh, it is something we will tease on. It will not be confirmed ever in the book, uh, but in later supplements, we are uh, working on on kind of because uh, because this is based on a, a series of novels that has has finished and is done. Uh, 
<laughs> there's a lot of cool things that will happen uh, throughout the kind of the exploration of Necrobiotic that will update the setting and and kind of bring in new plot hooks that you can explore as as a GM and player. So nice, wonderful. Boom boom. Uh, <laughs> well, I am beyond looking forward to this and i gotta say i love the system uh this was fun uh is this your system or uh this is uh valerios and uh andres uh who were the original creators of alan granagio which is actually based on another italian ttrpg i call i think called ex vitro um but yeah we kind of uh re-looked at it and everything and and just kind of made it uh really nice for kind of the english speakers and stuff and we are going to be expanding on some items uh so this book like more and more we we look at it it's like the the 1.5 version or 2.0 of of the original stuff so even like if you play the italian version you'll be like there's so much extra stuff to, to look at and to play around with um so yeah wonderful thank you so much for coming on the show and running this for us and being oh, my pleasure on the flagship episode for a new venture. So, yes. oh, good luck, guys. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> and uh, that said, uh, we'll of course include notes on where to find the Kickstarter. It launches uh, as this episode is airing, it's going to launch in about two, three weeks. Oh, so, yeah. be sure to keep your eyes open for that. I'm truly excited. Uh, everything I've seen online as far as art and description, and obviously now playing it, you definitely have me hooked. Uh, yeah, is, there, is there anything else you want to throw it uh, throw at us uh, teaser wise or you got any like ideas on tiers or anything oh, yeah so some of our stretch goals will be an additional archetype you can play called children of the river um, which is a more religious faction uh whose prophet heard a sentient or a construct in the wilderness and basically come came back deciding that constructs are, are evil and bad um one of our really cool stretch goals, uh, it, other than kind of including the rules for how to play with a tarot deck, is the template Ooh. of the construct. Uh, so you becoming a construct yourself and in, in playing uh, past the point of your death oh, nice. um, is another oh. kind of stretch goal we we have uh, for for people to kind of explore. So it's we're, we're super excited about kind of expanding the world and bringing new stuff to it. So the, the all the stretch goals are kind of geared towards uh, making the book infinitely better. That's kind of cool because the stretch goal because the whole time we're playing, I'm like, what happens if there's a ghost in the machine? Oh yeah. man, there's that's the oh yeah. Phew. I can't wait to, to share all that stuff with you guys. I know, that's going to be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, it's been an honor. And thank you to my players today uh, for Sean and Steven. Thank you both for coming on. Like I said before, Sean is from an Illuminated Page, which is the Call, uh, Call of Cthulhu Masks in Yarlathotep uh, actual play. And uh, Steven it plays on the Growing Shadows, which is the Ninja Crusade Second Edition actual play. So thank you both nice. for coming on today. Thank you for the invite. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, everyone, and we will see you soon. Night. Night, everybody. Ciao. Bye.